Now, one domain against him. A canem work a canem wine. What's in the million dozen? As Mumilia can a master on one. You create you in your cell. Onion and onion over chinky tatabo, MAP, as you could bond the one. Now, dear Fraland. Over chinky tata today, topic Why Africans are living in bondage, episode two. And uh, today's uh, broadcast, definitely, we affect a lot of people. And uh, I always open the door for you to come and correct me because. I believe in reality. I believe in the truth. I believe that the only thing that can set man free is nothing but the truth. And until we start saying this truth, until we accept this truth, we can never be free. So today's topic, why Africans are living in bondage. Just a minute. I find it chuku ojuku ndewo. Now, I got straight to the point. I'm on that now this page the on under attack, on under suppression. Mana that will not disturb us. That will not be a problem for us to preach our gospel truth. We will preach it. A lot of people will not like it. A lot of a lot of people will be angered. But if you can listen and use your brain to dissect, to, to think deep, to meditate in everything we are going to preach today, believe you me, you will learn a lot. Because we are not here to tell you the mad, the grace, what again. No, that is not why we are here. We are here to make you understand. Now, when you check Africa, Africa as a continent, are still living in bondage we are living in abject poverty we are dwelling in in suffering the suffer have become the order of the day if there is no any blessed day in africa something that is useless will not take a life of african youth african youth are dying in their numbers african men and women are dying in their numbers and nobody cares why are they dying? Now, yesterday, I preached about uh, NATO and the uh, BRICS, and I preached about uh, these things. Today, we are going to preach about the Christian leaders. I got come and the Christian leaders, the Christianity and the Muslims in Africa, the roles of Muslim and the role of Christian in Africa that have contributed to the living in bondage. To, so that have subjected Africa not to move from, from, from abject poverty to a standard life. These are the two things which we are going to look into. Now, the Christianity brought Bible to us and from Genesis to Revelation of the Bible are all lies. There is no truth on it. There is nothing like this is the truth, anything that has to do with reality. Now, what? how did the Christian leaders, remember, the Christianity came with the killing of our forefathers in order to force us to believe in the Christianity. The same thing with Muslim. But why I we center most especially on the Christian is because I was not conquered. My forefathers was not conquered by the Muslim. They are conquered by the Christian.
they, we are conquered and be deceived by the Christianity in order to subject us to slavery under the white man control. Because the highest weapon any person, the highest slavery any person can involve him or herself into is mental slavery, brain slavery. Now, the Christian leaders are the tools they use to weaken the youth. And I will prove it to you. When you read your Bible, you will see that the Christian leaders in the Bible fight for the betterment of the people. Why the Christian leaders in Africa fight to subject their people to slavery, to make the, they, they use the word, they instigated the fear on our brain. They make us believe that God is somewhere that will kill you if you speak the truth. That once you talk reality, God will destroy you. Let me say it here so that you will understand it. Gina, A.B. Gina, greeting from here. God don't kill any person. And if you say God have killed any single human being, call in to prove to me that so-so person was killed by God. God know the key human being. The white people made us to believe that once you talk truth, God will slide, God will just kill you. There is no place on this planet Earth God kill any person. God have never killed before, and the God have not killed yesterday. God cannot kill today, nor tomorrow. And I will prove it to you. Go, I, I tell you, if you can call in and tell me that social person was killed by God for doing this, and God just killed him instantly, then I will know that I will I will worship your God. I worship your God because I believe in fat and figures. Now, what is the duty of African pastors? How did the European country or Western world use the, past, the our own brothers to put us in bondage? Do you know that in the scripture, Bible say, woe unto ye that is single. Now, can somebody tell me the value of a reverend sister? The reverend sisters you are seeing today, can you tell me the function of a reverend sister in the society? What is reverend sister's contribution in the society? Do you know that white people are no longer going into reverend sister? The only people that engage themselves in reverend sister today are our black race. Can, the value, can somebody call me and tell me this is the function of reverend sister? Ask our reverend sisters in diaspora. 99% of our reverend sisters are taking care of old women in white in this in this hero. Ask them, they will tell you. That Bible that told you, Woe unto ye that single. When you confront them, they will tell you, God will say, Woe unto you that is single. The same God told you, Go into the world and multiply. Now, which God tell them to go and become reverend father? Which God tell them to go and become reverend sister? And what is the contribution of reverend sisters in, in, in African race today? Reverend sister has no work. They just come in order to put us in that slavery, to suffer us. That is why today they tell you, go and become reverend sister. Go and do this. Reverend sister, you deny yourself a husband. The reverend fathers will be sleeping with you. You are committing adultery. You say you married to God. Where is the God? Is God, is God? How can God marry human being? And some of you are foolishly engaging on meat. They now make you to believe that everything your forefathers do is evil. And their own is not evil. Today, the government you are into in Africa as in citizens, as a citizen of a country in Africa today, none of the citizens are holding their government accountable. How can a woman tell you that he is looking for a fruit of womb and you give the person 100 days fasting and prayer? Do you know the consequence of 100 days fasting and prayer? Let me tell you, the consequences of 100 days fasting and prayer is stomach ulcer. After that woman 
pass that 100 days fasting and prayer, he will get stomach ulcer as a reward for starving himself, or I mean, for starving herself for 100 days. Because your stomach, your intestine need food. The moment there is no food in your system, the worms, the antibacteria, the anti, uh, 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 the, what is it called? We start eating your skins, start eating your flesh, start eating from you. And that, that is what gives stomach ulcer. And some of you will sit down. Bible will tell you that God created Adam and Eve. And Eve was second wife of Adam. They will never tell you who is the first wife. Who created it? Who created, who created Lilith? The worst, the worst part of this is when they buy them, they, they tell you don't argue, don't ask question. The white people don't think that they did not do this thing fiscally. The same way they make our professors to be stupid in terms of teaching history. The same way they colonize our brain for us not to reason beyond because you can only understand something when you start asking questions. You can only learn when you start asking questions. You can only discover when you start making research. You can only know the truth when you started making moves. But they subjected you not to make a move. They subjected you not to make a step. They put that fear in you. They, they put that mentality of fear that you, you can be killed by God for, for saying something with your mouth. Let me tell you, there is no amount of words you can say with this your mouth, this your tongue, that will make any God somewhere to kill you. That is a pure lie. Nothing you can say on this earth that will prompt God to kill you. God, God cannot kill you. God himself cannot take your life. There is some, the moment you were born, there is something they call life cycle. For those of you who don't know, the, if you do biology, there is something they call life cycle. The moment you round up your life cycle, you die. The same thing with trees, the same thing with every animals. Whether you do, you live bad or you live wrong, you must die one day. Death is something inevitable. Now, what do they use the Christian pastors and the Christian reverend fathers to achieve in Africa? They use the Christian leaders and the Christian pastors to make us to believe that there is a miracle somewhere that will make that will bring money to you. There is a something somewhere that will make you to, to lead you to success. They make you to believe that if not the Christianity, you cannot achieve anything. If not Christianity, you could have been unwise. Let me tell you, the first chief judge of Anambra State, his father is the, 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 the wisest man, uneducated man, but he, you, as you, you as a lawyer cannot defeat him. There is a, the world that is making waves now. When they tell you that uh, the chief judge when they brought case to him and uh, a, a masquerade, masquerade killed somebody and they arrested the guy that uh, wear that masquerade. When they brought the, the masquerade, the case to the man and he poured a pan wine on a table. When flies come to the table, he used a bunch of broom to kill that fly and they asked the people, the other lawyers, to identify the, the single broom that killed that fly and they was unable to identify it. That very idea was given to him by his father, who was not educated. And the guy come from Miami, in case you don't know. Go and check it. And today, all of you are jubilating. That very idea come from uneducated person. Because in terms of law, it matters. What works in terms of law is logic, your brain. Now, come to the pastors in Africa. They make you to believe there is heaven. And there is hellfire. How can you prove there is heaven and hellfire? Nobody can die on this earth. Once you die, you can never come back with anything in your brain. You can never come back again. The moment you die, you don't die. And that is why the guy they say that is Jesus that never existed anywhere can never come back to this earth. 
Jesus can never come. He don't die. He don't die. Then tell you that he is coming very soon. I beg, who can measure us the meaning of soon? Who can tell us the meaning of very soon? Somebody tell you something is coming very soon. 100 years pass. 200 years pass. 500 years pass. 1,000 years pass. That very soon have not come. 2,000 years is gone. You are pursuing 3,000 years. And they still put you. They use it. Jesus is coming very soon. You are, you will go to you will go to heaven. You are waiting for the coming of Christ. Your forefather waited for the coming of Christ, then died. Jesus never come. Your grandfather waited, they never come. You are still waiting. You are you are on your 80s, 90s. Jesus never come. Is that not a a, a, a simple lie to you? Thank you, Gina A B Gina. Very soon mean within one hour, within two hours. That is very soon. They told you that Jesus is coming very soon. 2,000 years, is it very soon? 1,000 years, does that mean very soon? 500 years, that does that mean, is that very soon? Ask yourself, why is it that only Africa that believe in religion for to get progress? Ask yourself, why is it only Africa that believe in Christ, in God, to create a good leader, to bring a good government government to them. Now, what is the pastor's achievement in Africa? These are the reasons why Africans are living in bondage. They are using imams to put Muslims in the bondage. They are using pastors and reverend fathers to put Christians in bondage in Africa. Meanwhile, in Europe, in Asia, where they bring those Christianity and those Muslim issues, they are not depending on the religion and the Muslim and the Christian to move forward. In Africa, a man tell you go and kill seven people for you to have seven veggies and go heaven. With, go and stay with Allah. In Saudi Arabia, they believe in their oil, in development. There is no any citizen of Saudi Arabia that is killing any person to make heaven. And you go to Qatar, there is no any citizen of Qatar that is engaging in Boko Haram. Go to uh, Dubai. They are Muslim cont uh, countries. They are not involving in killings. But come to Africa. You are defending Muslim. Just a minute. Now, I want to prove something for you here. Before now, they tell us that uh, that the uh, Mongoboro Park discovered the River Niger. Do you know that many professors lecture this in university? Do you know that as an African man, if you are writing an exam to, and they ask you who discovered a whole River Niger, that your forefathers are going to fetch water, that your people are doing everything, they will somebody a lecturer a professor or in a university will tell you that somebody who discovered that river niger is a white man he come from the white the, the old way from europe come to your backyard to discover a river that you have the fishing water and a lot of us believed it the same way a lot of us believe that god is somewhere creating everything and he make us to do this anything that you are serving is your god and I ask person because they will tell you that Jesus is God. Where is Jesus? How did Jesus become God? Jesus never existed in the Bible. Jesus never existed in the Bible. There is no place you will read Bible and see that name, Jesus. Now, I ask one reverend father this simple question. No, he's a pastor. I ask him, when God said that they will, they will born Jesus, when John the Baptist prophesied and he was born, when he was born, which name did he say he shall be called? He answered Emmanuel. And I said, okay, when he was born, which name do they call him? He said Emmanuel. I said, who now named him Jesus? He was looking at me. I said, okay, now you don't know who named him Jesus. Now, according to them, Jesus, the surname of Jesus is Christ. The surname of Jesus is not Joseph. He can know Jesus Christ. Which means the person who born Jesus is Christ. Where do they derive that name 
Christ, where do you derive it from? All these things are lies that the Christian need to ask questions. How did you get the name Christ and who was the Christ? Because you cannot, yeah, I cannot answer Paul, Paul. You cannot tell me that Jesus is Christ because automatically that name, Jesus Christ, one is the son name and the other one is the name. One is the father's name. You cannot answer your two names like as I am Paul now. I cannot answer Paul, Paul. Jesus Christ, who is the Christ that is, is answering his name. Joseph the carpenter, the one that tell us Mary carried, is uh, Emmanuel, according to the Bible. Who bring that name? Jesus. And where did the Christ? They will not tell you that a Christian is derived from Christ like, who is the Christ? Who was the Christ they are referring to? And you are marketing this in Africa, telling you that your forefathers are evil. What make your forefathers evil? Where did our fathers commit the evil? And which evil did they commit that the people who brought Jesus to you have not committed? And I asked them, who wrote the Bible? It, the first Bible was King James. Who is in my pronouncer as the, our people? King James. Who wrote the King James Version of Bible? Is the king of England. Now, they use the Bible and the thing to bring us down. Let us be everything. We will be praying. Oh, God of heaven, give us a good leader. I pray God to bring a good leader. I pray God to tie this road. I pray God bring light. I pray God no make a, no, uh, make a buy motor. How will you be praying for God to give you a good road? What did what do you mean by God to give you a good road? When you have constitution, when you have the law, when you can you can actually go. Uh, you, I, that is anything anything about Bible is a scam. Now, Father Mbaka, who is who have the one of the highest population in the East, told you that Buhari is a prayer answered. Up to today, adoration are still defending him. Did, was he speaking through the Holy Spirit or was he speaking through the money given to him? Was he preaching the what God said to him or is he preaching what bag of money give to him? These are the questions you need to ask because without you asking questions, you can never get an answer. Answer goes with the question. Without you making a research, you can never discover. Without you saying something, making a move, you can never get a result. You are in Europe here. There is no poor country. Like Italy is not poor. Finland is not poor. Germany, there is no poor people there. Mention the country that made up European Union. There is no poverty there. Some of you will argue this. What is poverty? Poverty is when you are sick, you cannot afford hospital for you to treat, uh, take a treatment. Poverty is when you want to eat, you cannot buy that food that you want to eat. You are poor. Poverty is when you want to uh, go from here to another place. You cannot afford the money to transport yourself there. That is poverty. Come to Europe. There is no country that is not paying their citizens. And all of you are there shouting. They make you like I ask. Somebody should come in and tell me the function of reverend sister. Why you will advise your own sister to become a reverend sister? What will she contribute in that very becoming reverend sister? Becoming reverend sister have made that your sister. 101% useless. She will not contribute anything. Our reverend sisters in Italy here are taking care of it. Old women, old Italian women and men packing their sheets. Go and ask them. Any reverend sister you see living in Italy, is taking care either is taking care of children or is taking care of the old women that have gone pension and they are not paying them they only give them pocket money what is the value your sister that's supposed to be a nurse your sister that's supposed to be a gynecology your sister supposed to be a a, a petroleum engineer that's supposed to be contributing your country that's supposed to make your country be functioning it's now packing sheet in the name of heavenly race 
So parking sheet now will take her to heaven. And you are there telling me that you are waiting for God's intervention. Anyone who tell you that God kills is a bloody liar. God can never kill any person. Even if you carry microphone, say, God, you the mad. God, you the crazy. God can never kill you. There is no place in the world God have killed any person. Just a minute, I am coming. Just a minute. There is no place in this world God have killed any person. If God have killed any person, tell me the person I will raise that person back to life. God not the key person. Holy Spirit never resisted anywhere. Now, why is Africans are living in bondage? Africans are living in bondage because of Christianity. Africans are living in bondage because of Muslim. You have Christian in Europe. You have Muslim in Europe. Ask yourself, why is Reverend Father in Europe not involving himself in a miracle? I will tell you this. Go and confirm it from Fedambaka. Do you know that Fadambaka come to Europe here? Fadambaka come to Italy at Genova. Go and confirm it. He was arrested, but you can never see the video making around the world. Fadambaka, you people are hailing today, was arrested in Italy here. What was his crime? Did he tell the people what the crime he committed? In case you don't know, go and confirm. He can tell you this. I am saying now. Father Baka come Italy here and started doing aye ye 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 aye ye 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 and the black idiot that he fooled here started falling. As then fall, Father Baka remember that he has a flight that he need to board and he want to move there. The Reverend Father that is in charge of that Catholic Church used a police dog to block Mbaka and they tell him that you cannot come here and perform fake miracle and go. You go nowhere. Go and wake those all those people you 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 say they fall down. Go and start tapping them to wake up. Now, if Mbaka use spirits to fall those people, is it not simple prayer? He will pray, and those people will wake up. But because those people fall, they no no say Mbaka want to go. They still lie down, and this thing is happening outside church because you you know how the uh, yeah, that when you come out, other pastors and this thing will be making noise. Those that lie down don't know what is going on. The Reverend Father used police dog here in Italy, block Mbaka, and he made sure that Mbaka missed his flight. And he tell Mbaka that if he wastes more time, he will arrest him and put him in jail. He commanded Mbaka to go. When Mbaka ordered another person to go and wake those people by tapping them, the priest in charge of the church said nobody should touch any person there. Mbaka need to go and touch them. Why did Mbaka not tell you people this thing? It happened in Italy here. I was waiting since then for, for me to see the video, adoration, saying, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you guess what? Until Mbaka, you see that the white uh, Reverend Father is not joking. Already there is a police dog, very giant, gi giant police dog, willing to devour Mbaka. What did Mbaka do? He went there and started tapping them. And he told them, be eternal, get up, before they start waking up. Before they come wake up and killing their person, the pastor, the priest told the Mbaka, you go nowhere. He will check them to show say nothing affects these people. Brain, brain, he, he must carry out tests to show say their brain is in order. There is no sickness. There is nothing that these people that come to this church are in order. Guess what? Mbaka was delayed for more than four hours. Go ask him. Let me talk him. Go ask him whether what I said is a lie. It happened here in Italy. Ask him. And he missed that flight. Because those people that fail, they need to check them if they have mental problem that prompted them to fail. Or if Mbaka do them something. 
because this is a country where pope they, the pope you people are the king of christian the king of catholic the king of catholic but mbaka can never tell you people what happened to him in italy he cannot tell you why he missed his flight he cannot tell you why he paid for double ticket because they did not refund his his money ask him if i am lying now if the people that bring christianity can do that to mbaka that shows that they don't believe in prayer. If there is any the video, I believe that uh, the video will be because uh, when Mbaka come there, it uh, the video did. If you check the Mbaka's videos, you must see one of this video I am talking about, unless they have deleted it, because I believe they will delete it. Because that record is a very bad record. Agua, the person who blocked Mbaka is a reverend father, not ordinary person. A reverend father in Italy, they call it parochio. He is the person who blocked him. Now, you tell me that, why did Mbaka not sue him for delaying his flight? The case died silently. What does that tell you? It shows that there is no power there. That is a lie. That is one thing. Now, then tell you that when you pray, you are looking for a fruit of womb. God will give you a child. If you pray to thy kingdom, come. if no man plants sperm, spermatozoa on your, on your body, there is no child you will born. Children came as a result of intercourse. If you temper with your own system of this, you cannot give a child. We are here to tell you the gospel truth. Why is African living in bondage? Ask yourself. In Do you know that the rate of poverty in Nigeria today? Do you know that if Mbaka, Oloma, Kumuyi, uh, Moka, and the rest of the whole Christians in Nigeria, do you know that if they come together to protest for the fuel race, fuel pipe, that and they say that fuel must be sold for 100 naira, do you know that fuel must come down to 100 naira? Are you aware that they have the capacity to do it? Ask yourself, why are they not doing it? Go and search for it. It's not a recent video. I think yeah, this happened last year, if I'm not mistaken. It's either last year or early this year. So for you, you, you can type uh, uh, Father Mbaka's uh, video in uh, Genova. I think it happened in Genova here, Italy here. Or some of the Reverend Sisters in Italy will confirm this thing to you. And the reason why the video did not go viral is because of the humiliations, because of the way they treated him. Now, they tell you that our our culture go around the world. There is no any Reverend Father or any pure Christian that is fighting to liberate his people. Do you know that Christianity make it is a is we we brainwash you to the extent you become you will become you will become so foolish that you don't know when to fight for your right and when not to fight for your right. Christianity will make you to say, tell you that if somebody slap you instead of you to call police instead of you to retaliate so that the person will not slap you tomorrow, it tell you to turn your the other of your cheek. The same pastors are calling police. Telling people, same Reverend Fathers. Now, then tell you that Jesus existed. Where does he exist? Go, there is something we call lineage. Go to Israel. There is nothing like the lineage of Jesus. There is nothing like the lineage. This is the family of Jesus. But they will come and tell you, oh, here is the place where this, sorry, where Jesus uh, then buried Jesus. Why haven't them tell you the family of Jesus? Because when Jesus died, the family did not die. The family continued living. Today, Ojuku is dead, but there is a Ojuku family. 
living in Newe. If you go to Newe today, say you want to see Ojuku family, you will see Ojuku family. Why haven't any Christian show us Jesus family in Israel? Or when Jesus died, did his generation wipe out? You cannot ask question. You believe in praying. How can prayer answer anything, bring you to any any this thing? Today, Kumuyi, the w, WF Kumuyi, the founder and the CEO of a deeper life ministry, is telling you that God will repair Nigeria through Tinubu. What does that mean? Does he contact God or is he speaking? When I say that Kumuyi is a born criminal, some my sister is a is a deeper life pastor. In case if I the talk, may not say at the look your face. My sister and her husband is a deeper life pastor, and I tell them that Kumuyi is a criminal. They ask you, don't shall no judge. How do you know a sinner? But you can call somebody a sinner. How do you find a sinner? They say, thou shall no judge so that you will not be judged. How do you know that somebody will go to heaven and somebody will go to hellfire? Who judge you? Who tell you? You have judged the person. And my brother, I want you to give your life to Christ. The question now is, how do you know that the life is not given? How do you know that the person is not giving, is living a, a fake, a, a sinful life? You have judged the person. And you don't want your own people to be judged. You don't want your pastor to be judged. Now, one pastor in other state, Ewolugamu, Lagwo, he's a, he's, he's a prayer warrior in hotel. But they tell you that uh, 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 your culture is evil. Your culture is evil. Pastor have used prick. Kill his prayer, have his prayer warrior. Lagwo now with prick. Like the woman they felt here. Yeah? Do you know the reason why most of the people die during sex marathon? That woman did not eat. That woman is suffering from abject poverty. And he, she came for that pastor for help. Because that pastor went to Nalunke, or labor that woman without minding the condition of that woman. But that woman, Oganayanu, Oganayanu with strength. That pastor, now me amunishi, or he now warrant him and labumado. Empty stomach you in lot. I help that pastor Joel about that woman. And the idea living in bondage, making Africans to believe in prayer. Your duty of your pastors are to call on the government to fix the country. How many of the, the your pastor today is telling the government the evil they are doing? How many of the pastors is telling the government this is what you're supposed to do? Do you know that your pastors are the people who are supposed to come out? Look at Enugu on the Chai Express Road. That road have consumed a lot of innocent Christians in Africa. You make Africa to believe that through prayer, you can achieve const uh, uh, constant electricity. You make Africa to believe that through prayer, you, you, you will get a good road. You make Africa to believe that through prayer, you will become rich. How can I become rich when I don't have the system that will make me rich? Ask yourself, why is church not excelling in Europe? Do you know the reason why Israel banned uh, the preaching of Jesus in the street of Israel? It's not because they hate Jesus. Is because they don't want the mental of their children to be tempered with. They don't want the way of their children to be risen, to be tempered with. They don't want their children to be risen like, like a people that don't have future. They want their children to be using their number six to confront fiscal team with the fiscal team to make sure that practical wins it all. Now, somebody is suffering from diabetes. Which me and you know that diabetes is most of the cause is sugar. And you know the symptom. Then they tell you that it's a new le, kamado kogenoku. And the fake leaders now are capitalizing on the criminality of Christian to scam our people. If you read Bible, you're a human being. You go into Bible. You will understand that everything inside Bible is from A to Z is lie. And there is no pastor that can prove Bible anywhere to anyone. 
Agushin Bible, like I attended deeper life. No be said and say, ask them when I come for quiz, you cannot win me for Bible in terms of Bible quiz. Agashin, like, and I win a lot of uh gift. Mona, you know, on a quiz, I must beat you. That is me for you. So don't think that I am speaking out of ignorance. You did not study Bible more than me. I said to you right here now that there is no place from Genesis to Revelation. God said that whom shall I send? And, the, and the Jesus said, here I am, send me. There is no place apart from uh, John 3, 6, uh, John 3, 6, 5, I do whatever. God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son. And uh, whoever believes in it shall, shall this and that. There is no place God say, whom shall I send? And if any person come and say, God, here I am, send me. Let me go and die for the world. Or the Lord, a Bible is not written anywhere in the Bible. And if you say it's written, I challenge you to come with the Bible verse. Let us read it so that you will disgrace me in this program. Bible did not record anywhere God asked. Whom shall I send? And Jesus answered, Here I am, send me. Or the Lord, a Bible is not in the Bible. Go and read it. The people who compose that very word are Nigerian criminal pastors. That word never existed. And I put it as a challenge. You as a pastor, I challenge you to come up with the Bible verse that says, You as a Christian, I put it as a challenge for you to come and tell me where God say, Whom shall I send? And Jesus said, Here I am, send me. Other on a Bible, this one will shock you. It will shock you. It's not in the Bible. If it is, bring it on. Tell me, drop the link so that you will quote the Bible and I will read it from here. I have my phone. Bible with a goggle. Just write the, the, the chapter for, for comment session to prove me wrong. Because none of you study Bible. That is why you carry on forehead like Gala. If you study Bible, your eye go open. You will on you will know the lies inside Bible. Then tell you, then tell you, oh God created Adam and Eve. Do you know that you start you start knowing the truth when you start asking questions? God created Adam and Eve. No, okay, no argument. And the Adam and Eve give birth to two male child. And the who call Cain and the Abel. And the Cain kill Abel. And the Bible record it that after killing Abel. He ran to the nearest neighboring village to hide, to have children and marry from there. You never occur to you to ask that person who tell that story. Which village did he run to when God created only Adam and Eve? You cannot ask questions. These are the things. Why Africans are living in bondage? The church, they bring to you. They bring it with gun and blood. Inside the Bible, they are handing over to you. It was written, thou shalt not kill. So them, they, they are killing. Them that they are killing, are they no human being? Then tell you, oh, if you talk, God's anger will be on you. God will, God will consume you. God's anger. So, as I am now, the God's anger will be upon me. And the God anger will not be upon French, France country that is in Niger, killing Niger for more than 1,000 years, using 95% of Niger resources to build France, subjecting Niger to abject poverty. God is happy with that. And they want me to follow such God. How will I worship such God? You say God love you and the people. Mention one country that brought God to you. And it's not subjecting you to suffer today. Do you know that word Christ appeared in the Bible in the book of Luke? There is no any other place. The whole testament, that word Christ is not in the Bible, but they bring it in the book of Luke. With which name? Anna Junior a Christian should start asking questions about this Bible they give them. The more you ask questions, the more you know the truth. The question I ask you, remember the question. Any pastor, they start asking your pastor this question. What is the surname of Jesus? And if he answered Joseph, ask him, who is Christ? Because remember that name. You, you will first of all tell him that 
your name is like for example my name is paul my son name is achebe that is why i am called achebe paul or paul achebe i cannot answer paul paul because if i answer paul paul that means my father is also a paul I, and if i want to answer that paul i will answer paul junior now that is jesus christ as the person who is the christ and who is jesus that place watch the pastor to confuse himself not you watch the pastor now tell him that god said woe unto ye that is single and the same god say go into the world and multiply tell him which god say go and marry reverend father from genesis to revelation there is no place god say you should become reverend father or you should become reverend sister the only word that we come and tell is that Apostle Paul said, asking is Apostle Paul a God who is supposed to Paul to amend the word of God. That is where we catch them. Because God himself never said that. He will now quote the Catholic Bible telling Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul never said anything. Tell him you are talking of the God since they are using God. Or did the Apostle Paul stand in a position to change any law of God? Then, another one you will ask them is this. God started working on the first day. The first day of the week is on Sunday. Go and make your researches. Sunday was the first day God started working. And God worked for complete six days according to the Bible. Ask them, the sixth day was Friday. And God rested on Saturday being the Sabbath day. Who now put Sunday to become the day God rest? Because according to the Bible, it says, keep the Sabbath day holy. In Sunday, the Sabbath day, ask any Christian who converted the day God started working to a resting day. That place, you will start knowing the truth. That place, you will start knowing the truth. Christian can never call to tell you anything. I challenge any Christian to come. Let us use Bible to talk to our people with simple analysis. Now they tell you they are celebrating Easter. My brother, if you are born on Monday, 26th of July, okay, what is today's date? Today is 24th, right? And today is Thursday, right? Today is Thursday, being uh, 24th of uh, August. And I was born on, the, on this day. My brother, next year, which day will be my birthday? Is it not? 24th of August is my birthday, right? Let us bring it to death. If I died today, now be 24th of, uh, of uh, August, I know, sir, no one died. If I die today, be 24th of August, after one year, two years, if you want to remember the day I die, which day you go talk, say I die? Is it not 24th of August? Now, then tell you that Jesus died on Easter Sunday. Ask them. Why is are they celebrating Easter only on Sunday? And they tell you that it's Jesus' death, the resurrection date. If Jesus died on the 24th of July, next year, it should be on Friday. It must not be on Saturday. Go and make the researches. And they keep on putting the death of Jesus only on Sunday, only on Sunday, only on Sunday. Who is calculating it? How do you calculate it? This the Easter has nothing to do with the death of Jesus. Easter is an ancient uh, Greek celebration. The same thing with Italy, they practice it together. How do they count it? They will first make it as the Muslim take they count their salah. So that's how they count it. In order for the whole world to join them to celebrate their gods, they now tell you that is Jesus. I'm not good if Unama Unama water something. So only death of Jesus, no, the, no, uh, the death they change. Thanks, he go, he go, he go die for March. At thanks, he go die for April. At thanks, he go die for May. He no get more when Jesus die again. Death, no day. Now every month in they die, and you cannot ask yourself a simple question: How does that happen? Your father that died on so so date, your date of the date of death of your father is he changing? Why Jesus own the change? You no get sense now. Nah? Because if you get sense, if you're not safe, you're not the change. Death, date, no. The only, only two dates that you can never change is birth date and the death date is fixed. 
but Jesus on the change. Now the ninth day, twenty fifth of December is uh, is uh, his birth. Now, why is December not changing, like the same of uh, of uh, of the death? Why is he not changing? Everything from A to Z is lies, lies. That is why Ebukobi will open mouth and tell you that go into hundred days fasting and prayer for you to get cancer and you join him. Ask yourself, Europe here, there is no any pop European person. Italy no get poor people. Germany no get poor man. Uh, go nation, then even America, Canada, the, even London, they no get poverty there. I know some of you will disagree, but I will prove that to you if you can come up. Tell me to drop the link that you want to disgrace me. I give to I give you quotation now. I tell you go and bring it from Bible. Where well, everything I am saying here, you as a Christian, I want you to call me and say this thing you said you lied. Here is where it is in the Bible. One is where did God ask you to become Reverend Sister? Where is it in the Bible? God open mouth tell you to go and become Reverend Sister. The same God who say woe unto ye that is single. The same God that says, Of course, every reverend sisters and reverend father should be cut off because Hadam in Puru. Osigi, Osisobunanadam in Puru, cut it down. Automatically, reverend sister and the temple, Umba, reverend father and the temple, Umba, they told you they're married to God, Chinek and Aladi. Do God marry? Ordinary, ordinary, simple question. Who gave that name Jesus to him, and where was he given to? Tell me where that name. They say that he should be called Jesus, or the Lord. Now, why is Africa living in bondage? Why is Africa living in bondage? Africans are living in bondage because of Kumuyi. Kumuyi now is, is now displaying his own Boko Haram character. God will now, God will, 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 will repair Nigeria three Tunubu. Kumuyi no no say how many of his members are dying in abject poverty. Kumuyi member in Awuchi, many of them are useless. They are, that is poverty are taking over them. God cannot heal them through Kumuyi. <laughs> the Holy, Holy Spirit, Holy Mary, Barakuna, but I'm one, you know, the other idea. Yeah, one night stand. And well, Holy Spirit it can never impregnate any person. Holy Spirit never. Let me tell you, Mary, Lalato, all Alamo, Lashia, Mike, Lataya, and I go no there. Come on, why are you? Yeah, yeah, now, Wally Lunu, and Holy Spirit, we have to marry me. Since then, why not to build another one? Why the burning of the rest become the duty of a man? Now, some of you who are saying Jesus is God, I want to ask you, in the Bible, did any person heal anyone in the name of Jesus? The whole apostle, the whole apostle, none of the apostles of Jesus prayed in the name of Jesus. Where do you get the name to pray in the name of Jesus? Where was he written that you should pray in the name of God? I want any Christian to come and tell me that in the book of Bible, he has said, after your prayer, you say in Jesus' name. It is not written in the Bible. Where do you drive that? I say Mary is a legend. Mary or Mary, 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 La la casera on me a cosy no virgin, which virgin? Uh, do you know that if you are a virgin and you concede, you cannot give a bet? Are you aware? Are you aware that you cannot give a bet if you are a virgin? Because according according to the the Bible, their lies. They tell you that during during the the pregnant Joseph never touched her. That shows that she will maintain her virginity until she give birth. One night a virgin. 
covered here. Your labor will kill you. Now, let us come to facing of the reality. They told you that your forefathers are evil. Ask them, what is the offense of our forefathers? They'll say, oh, our forefathers killed their twins. My brother, who killed one twins and who wiped out village and they still keep you into suffering till you did? What is his, your own offense? <clears throat> you as a Nigeria today, what was your offense or what is your offense that Britain is still slavering you till today? Why haven't you gotten your freedom from Britain that he writes the King James? Why did God allow the Britain to continue to slave you after slaughtering millions of your forefathers to date? You that is a Christian, do you know, are you aware that the same Britain who wrote King James Version have built prison in their sea and said that only black people with, only black Africans with this, uh, this thing will be going to that prison? And what is the offense? of the black people that will go to that prison, the black people that entered England without visa, without the paper, they are the people that prison they built in their center of their sea will be, is made for. Now, which of the heaven are you, these people preaching to you? And the, you will say, oh, the Holy Spirit directed King James to write Bible. King James, who is a homo? King James, who is the husband to Queen Elizabeth? Holy Spirit directed him. When people are telling you that Holy Spirit direct people, ask him, who is the Holy Spirit directing to write? Moses never wrote any Bible. Uh, Solomon never write any Bible. Paul, who the cause of, never wrote any Bible. David never write any Bible. None of the people that tell you that they write this book, write that book, wrote any Bible. Because when these people are living, they are not keeping writing their record. The question you will ask yourself now is, which person was the Holy Spirit directing? What is the name of that person, Holy Spirit directed to write the Bible? I want to know. At that junction, you will start having sense. Oh, Marzi, don't preach about Holy Ghost. Don't preach about men of God. God will consume you. And uh, God have not consumed, me, uh, consumed any person. Until the, the fear they instigated on us, they put fear on us, they make us to start fearing that God is somewhere waiting to destroy us the moment we say the truth. That is the only first thing we need to conquer. The only first thing we need to conquer is to kill that fear that there is God somewhere waiting to kill you. There is no God anywhere waiting to kill you. They put that fear for you to remain a slave. If Africa can do away with this, believe you me, Africa will rise up again. They tell you, we kill a Jima. Tell the person, I am a twins. In my generation, we have a lot of twins. Even my forefathers, they are twins. Why didn't they kill them? The same way, Dakaboro, Abimongoboro Park, whatever it's called, Discover Nigeria, Discover River Niger. That is the way they tell you, say, Mary Celestia, stop killing of twins for you to believe that you are evil. For you to believe that your forefathers is evil. And in their own, when you ask them, the Bible that you are reading today, how did they bring it to you? They can never answer you. No Christian person will be honest to answer how the white people bring Bible in Africa. No Muslim person can tell you how the Arab people bring Quran in Africa. None of them. You know the reason. If they tell you, you will have questions to ask. If they tell you, you will have questions to ask. But they don't want you to ask questions. They run and tell you, 
don't ask questions don't make argument with unbelievers don't don't uh, stand with unbelievers but unbelievers will give you money we take unbelievers will pay tight we take now let us come to the reality why africans are living in bondage this one is episode two yesterday i preached the episode one because this episode will continue this will be my topic i as i treat christianity today tomorrow i will treat about our corrupt leaders so not think that uh, as i am hammering on the christian evil doings today kumuyi is a born criminal moka is a born criminal uh, uh what is he called uh adeboyo is a confirmed born criminal and if they say i am lying we will argue let them bring them one question they will answer me you will see that they are criminal they will tell me where did the bible tell them to eat tight and offering what did the bible say you should use your tight and offering to do it is in the book of deuteronomy why are they not following that they will answer me why god according to them in the bible why did god destroy eli and his family and today they are the one eating everything that come to church they subject us why is africa living in bondage africans are living in bondage because your pastor told you that pray for god to give you road pray for god to give you leader did israel pray pray for god to give them david did israel pray for god to give them the first king called saul did Israel you see today pray for God to come and destroy Palestine for them? In the scripture, they are reading. Ask them, the Israel we know dear are fighters, warriors. Why are they not preaching that fight and warriors? The, the priest in the Bible lead wars. Why is your pastor not leading war? Hmm? ask them this question why is africa living in bondage because they are living in bondage because your pastor your reverend fathers are, are mentally slavery they are slavery you they are putting you in slavery they are making you using your brain putting fear making you to believe that there is a spirit that will come and kill you and when the spirit in a boomer but when you be God, there is no God anywhere waiting to kill you or to take your life. The only thing that will kill you is your physical thing, sickness, and the death. That is the only thing that kills. God does not kill. Whether the Bible God or the, the, our own Chukok, there is no any God somewhere killing person because of what he say or because of what he do. Now, how can your pastors redeem their redeem the atrocity they are doing? Let the pastors and reverend sisters let them let first of all, reverend sisters need to be abolished. That name, reverend sister, has no use because reverend sisters and reverend fathers bring the homo it started from the Catholic Church. Konji. Konji jigi the reverend father oga po mo ki bie ike and the reason no geji we po mo ki bie ike buna konji ji the other guy or say okay imeche mo kan megi ebe ho mo ju ebido imeche mo me megi ipo ya mo ni ike ipo cha nye to ya ya nye wa po yigi o ye o ye mo ta this ho mo nu na fo today Now, but I want na now. Why he jammed because he had a loser can I go no one had ever woke up with silly name here. Now, you tell I tell them you don't need to be believe in anything special, uh, special, uh, uh, you know, kind of your you don't need to believe in spartitions. Face reality. Our girls are becoming useless on a daily basis. And your reverend fathers are watching there. Poor widow will say her ugu. And bring the money tell you that they are building schools. After building the school, they carry the price of the school fees 
put it in a way that the politician you say that they will go to hell, hell fire. The people you call sinners, only their children will be going to the church school. We nice chapel on your people. How much is your secondary school school fees? Ordinary nursing school school fees for winners is more than 20,000 naira. How can a poor, a poor winners member afford such amount to pay the, the, the five children's school fees he, he born? Convenant University is one of the most expensive university in Nigeria today, owned by the church. And the pastors are not talking. Now, do you know how the West people use these people to achieve their dreams? Do you know? Now, they will tell you that your reward is in heaven. There is mansions in heaven. And at the same time, they tell you that in heaven you will be you will be holy, be singing from morning to night. Holy, 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 God is in heaven. I go away. Even me, when they hear how I will come. The one place they're saying from money to night is that a match? That is the highest punishment. Is prison instead of the pastors? How many pastors today are preaching to their citizens, telling them that you need to the, you hold the government? You need to hold the government accountable. How many pastors have gone to Asso Rock as the, the prophet go to David and tell him that uh, uh, the sword of death will never depart from your family? How many Nigerian pastors can go to Asso Rock and tell any person there that uh, the sword of death will never depart from your family? For taking the fair price from whatever it is to 600 that have contributed in suffering of our people. How many of the pastors are saying, talking about the hardship in Nigeria today? All they do is fixing crusade, making fake miracle. The law of nature tell you that if you know the meaning of law of nature, you will know that pastors are criminals. For headaches to go. How many pastors are talking about referendum today? How many of the pastors are talking about let my people go? That we need referendum. I am not saying how many pastors that want to use Maznam Nikano name to shine. How many pastors are coming to tell, divide this country? We need our freedom. How many pastors are talking, saying about it? How many pastors are telling you that Nigeria is not one? How many pastors have come out to tell you that we must go? Hmm? Pray. Pray. Crusade every day. Prayer word. Do you know that Ebu Kobi, go and mark my word. After this hundred days and fasting and prayer, Ebu Kobi will give cancer, stomach cancer to more than 2,000 black idiots. Of his member because there is no way you will do 100 days fasting and prayer without having stomach cancer although not possible equal way I go without having the repercussion you will not see a womb the stomach to carry that child because cancer we eat we now final we finish you up that is the result and you are not talking about it. Now, some of you will say, Mazi, what is the problem? How can we solve this problem? It's very simple. Let the whole pastor start telling their members the truth. There is no Jesus anywhere planning to come. If they tell Jesus is coming anywhere, there is no Jesus anywhere coming anywhere. That is the European uh, uh, strategy. To put you in bondage. And we'll be Jesus now, there. there is no heaven anywhere. There is nothing like hellfire. Hellfire I know, Lord. Heaven I know anywhere. These are just just spacious cause spacition. These are just nothing but spacitions. 
the Shugi Hellfire Day. And the same pastors from A to Z are committing crimes. They are and they want to go to heaven. Osigi, for a rich man to go to heaven, it's more easier for a horse to pass through the needle, the eye of the needle. Now, is Kumuyi a poor man? Is Kumuyi a poor man? Which means Kumuyi is going to have fire, according to them. The way of Kumuyi have rented a one-room apartment for her fire because he's a rich man. The uh, Onye Depo is going to have fire. Ebu Kobi will be the king of hellfire. Mbaka na hellfire because these people are rich. Why are they deceiving you? They tell you money is the root of evil. My brother, come to Europe. How is money the root of evil? The same money that is root of evil, they tell you that you must give the 10% of the root of evil to them. Then tell you Jesus has died for your sin and they are telling you confess your sin. Superstitious believe. Superstitious believe. You are there. You are shouting. Holy Ghost fire, fire follow you. Holy Ghost fire, fire follow. The moment you come to Europe, you will start praying. You will stop praying. In, you are in Nigeria. You are praying for God to give you can, a, a visa to, to go Canada. Canada visa. You are praying to God to give you Israel visa. Israel, they tell you that is a homeland of Jesus. You want to get their visa, they deny you. Somebody that deny you the visa want to give you Jesus to go heaven. The day you start hearing the truth, the day the pastor start preaching that you need to stand up, fight, physical fight, the physical control the spirit. The spirit the spiritual does not control the physical. That is why if you agree, your God will agree. Once you agree, because you are this, you are superior to your chief. Your, your chi is what you have. Your chi is the spirit in you. If you did not address it, ask a question, you will get answer. Make research, you will find something. But you refuse to make research. You refuse to ask question. You just believe. They tell you the lies in Bible. They tell you that nobody can go to heaven except you believe in Jesus. Are you aware that as of 1990, this preaching we are heavily in Nigeria. As of 1980, the preaching, everything about the Bible. If you don't believe in Jesus, there is no. You must go to heaven, a uh, hellfire. Now, when we start asking them questions, we now tell them, "What of Muslims that don't believe in Jesus? Where will they go? They now remember that a good character is what will take you to heaven, not your religion again. It's no longer if you believe in Jesus. It's now." And if you do well, you will go to heaven. But the Bible, they are using to confuse you, tell that you must believe in Jesus for you to go to heaven. Now, China don't know Jesus. Where will they go? Ask your pastor this question. Give you how stupid and confusing he will be. Ask your pastor, read the quotation. Tell him that the Bible says that you must believe in Jesus for you to make heaven. Which heaven with Indians who believe in Judaism? I mean, uh, in uh, Hindus, which heaven would they go? Which heaven with uh, Buddhism and uh, all these uh, Chinese, which heaven would they go? Which heaven will Muslim go? Your forefathers that knows nothing about Jesus, which heaven would they go? At that junction, you will realize that your pastor is just nothing but a smart criminal. Your pastor is nothing but a smart criminal. Onyo Shazulas. Give what that. They, they make you to believe that, oh, the cloth you are wearing now was brought by Christianity. How? China produces cloth. Are they Christian? India has the best medical doctors in the world. Are they Christian? Japan is not Christian. Now, how do they manufacture car? 
Eh? Do you know that the DNA, the Sony, is produced by Japanese? Do you know? Go and check it. African creativity stopped the moment Christian and Muslim entered Africa. Before Christian and Muslim, do you know that with sand, we can mold cutlass? Do you know that before the Christian and Muslim, with sand, we mold gunpowder? And in the buying there is something we call local fridge. I don't know, some of you may call in the Indomie generation. I'm a joke here. soy. Those of you who are my hand about clay soy. Ajopa. Campoya nebo. Ajopa. Clay soy. Eji alwea. Iwo liye ni se. Aponye ugide puchanya. Ishenya noku. Ishichenya owolite. Iba ya mili. Iwumo do apita ajam. Ipo liye boga balansi. Ipo chanya. Ido sa mili aho die. Banyem mili ni itaho. Mbobu na uka ya huna amu. Mili ya huge juo yi juo yi juo yi juo yi. E mwanya like this. Mili ya ga toge li li. Da isi oga toli gono bolo. Very cold water. E mwani fana po modifications. Obo na kristiani tabia lo. Ndi ba inge shi turu da atin. We modify ya nya ko ne use uzi anything. But the moment kristian bia. Everything ni ba ina lo pota. Kulose ya stansi. John Wegiti today, the only the food our people discover, our forefather discovered to date, the good this Christian generation have never discovered any other food. Obolo name well many food in the in in the in our land, but who will now make researches? Let's see Christian bring education before before God John God John the by now. In case you don't know, let me lecture you. He are no abiye mota from my own father. E mani ina alu alu na mma guogi na ukumbo guogi na kahie. E mani wolo sisi anapo uhume. We call it uhume. I don't know the name. In uh, in uh, in English. O sisi anapo ye dia. Okpolo mm, uh, tapia. Wota kukia mesi eba hu. Onya humegi. That in humegi. You will see that. That in we blood will stop first. From there. Go and be with him. And when Kaya na po, O Shishi, O So Ibo, Amalo mi ana po, Chomu o isi anine na na English. Mwana ama chamafia ni Ibo. En wolo Shishi O So Ibo. En wolo kolo tapia. En wolo O Shishi ana po mbombo. Ya ina, Afa ina po gase. Gaje duwe se. O So Ibo. Mbombo. O kolo tapia. Nchuang, osisi ya nine na guo, fiscal injury. Now, ama ya conversion, conversion ne mwenye ibo, aga siya nye jye choba, osisi ya na po nchuang, iwe te nchuang wangwe, ishe nye, ime konete nyonya akuku na ado, akuku akosidia, to today, where which people na discover those things? Eh? Eh? Your pastor Sigi, where where apron that uh, you will be covered, protected with the blood of Unketa or blood of Jesus. Here one, none of you they use blood proof. Why would you use blood proof? Now the medication in Eku started na libo. It's your forefathers. On well today you. Mma bogi na e yi gadi confuse obo na rush lo the hospital o bara gba bogi die ma na enwelo many osisi e ja go those things fever fever na me gi bo iba enwelo osisi na akpo dogo yaro am how many of you man ka osisi ha na akpo dogo yaro nya na osisi ogolish akuko ogolish pata akuko ogolish pata akuko dogo yaro pata eh nchu anwu Tinye ni mi te poto. Shye nye ezi bo shishi. Ishi chanye like this. Kone po. Mwane wola kwa nabo. Uchiyo mwe gini imye. After 30 minutes. Iga saru. Isa cha rebalu di milo gwa hongon. My brother. Within 30 minutes. Iga babon. Idi go ke. Ihi ni di do bebo. To convert those things. 
man has since the arrival of Christianity, all those things are now go. All here Christian who make it out. Thank you, Lucky. Ike. On one young one, I'm on one half year. I'm well able to get it. I'm well able to get it. Today, on young one five broad. A book of the Asanya may have hundred years a days a fasting and prayer. How will then from five broad on whether stomach cancer in year two sickness? On your back to take for one solution for one problem in add that to the sickness. Now, you boost go now here. These are the things I want to against. Joe Wengi, why is Africans, why they are in Africa, they are not making any impact? But any Africa, no matter how idiotic you are, if you are in Europe, highest 10 years alone, na ben nagi, you go like an alone or what of more than 50 million naira. Mani bigo na Nigeria for 30 years, you go to one plot, you go to one drum machine of, he saved them with the hundred thousand naira. Some people will not tell you, Mas, eh, no matter how useless you are in Nigeria, Indian Europe, he go back on no. Before you know it, he blue big man in Savajando because the system is there. Don't in the no Europe. Why in England on the Europe? Why are there no mad people roaming on the street of Europe? There is a place for them, which people make it possible. Government. Why in England on the Naya European people enjoy being in Naya yo. Manabia Europe, African people are running mad in the street. High news here, boss. Your match in a key. Oh, we give we gang one seat. In case we be able, if you a somebody or say, I am fighting to liberate myself, but I will defend Christianity. Ibonyala, is that how your mental problem is? You need to emancipate yourself from mental slavery. You cannot be protecting the thing, the tools they use to pin you down, and you are saying you are fighting for freedom. Which part of freedom are you fighting for? Ask your people. Oh, bro, thy God, the Jesus is very powerful and the solution to your problem. China will Colombia Jesus. They will never release Jesus for you. Germany will seize Jesus. You will never get access to Jesus. If Jesus is valued, Israel will not will claim Jesus to you today. You can, they can never ban the preaching of Jesus. The same way, oil in your country is valued. They're from Europe. They seize the oil for you not to have access to oil in your own land. You wait to say that now Jesus is valued. Have something to offer. They will leave Jesus for you. But oil that me and you know that is very valued, that is in your own land, then travel all the way from Europe to come and kill you to collect it. Eh? In, in Mokaluche. Uranium is what the whole Europe want to, because of uranium, they want to destroy the whole Niger Republic. But you think Allah and the uh, year one is valued and they, they are giving it to you freely. Eh? Can't you reason? The same people that bring Bible to you, for you to go to heaven, where there is many mansions for you to live. Is killing you for the God for the natural resources in your land, and you are not thinking, and you are protecting such nonsense. You see the reason why I tell you some of you in IPO be na okwa poku. Some of you na okwa poku. How can Europe? Be subjecting you to slavery. I ask people, what is the advantage of colonism, colonization? Because they bring that Christian through colonization. What is the advantage? My grandmother also cured any kind of broken bones, dislocations of bones, and the many couples who are looking for body for baby, I mean, come to my village. Then what my grandma uses is only leaf and the roots to cure these people. 
that is what our people are using indians are still using it today just that there is something they call preservations they use it they use it is it not the same bible that your nigerian pastor is reading is it not the same bible the white white uh, european uh, germany pastor are using why is germany not preaching about miracle why is germany not preaching about salvation why is germany not preaching about healings why is france not preaching about miracle ask yourself this question why is god always found himself in the poverty in the midst of poverty and he refused to help the poor people to rise why is the bible god loves the people to be poor why did the bible god allow his own people to be the poorest people on the earth god can never speak to any rich man and they are not thinking britain love you and they are subjecting nigeria to abject poverty they impose tinubu to you and they make sure that they are laying pipeline to draw gas from Egypt to come to Europe for them to have free gas. And they bring Jesus for you for free. But they refuse to give you their country visa for free. Britain build the prison for the people they refuse visas. For Nigerian citizens, for Ghana citizens, for Sierra Leone citizens, for Li uh, uh, Li uh, Liberia citizens. He, they build prison for Uganda citizens. They build prison for Morocco citizens in the center of a sea. But they bring Jesus for you and say you will go to heaven with them in Werobolo. That is mental slavery. And they are using your brothers to keep you to, to put you in that poverty, to subject you that when you die, you will go to heaven. There is no heaven anywhere waiting for any person. If you suffer till you die, your spirit will continue to suffer. If you enjoy it till you die, your spirit will continue to enjoy because you will die smiling. There is no any country in Europe here that any person can die due to he don't have money to treat him or herself or deal on Europe. There is no part of European country you will tell me you will die because you don't have money to get yourself treated. Go and make investigation. But do you know that millions of Nigerians are dying on a daily basis because they don't have money to treat themselves? Go to Newi Teaching Hospital where my auntie died inside last two months. Every day, Newi Teaching Hospital. Every blessed day, not less than 10 people die there because they don't have money to take care of themselves. Go to UBTH, the same thing. Go to Enugu Teaching Hospital, the same thing. Go to Abuja Teaching Hospital. People are dying because there is no money. A lot of people today have accidents. They don't have money to treat themselves. Their leg, they will cut it off. And you say Jesus is that is in that country. These are the reasons Africans are living in bondage because we are under slavery. We are mental slavery slaves. We are we are made to believe that. It, they put that fear in us that God is somewhere to kill us when you speak, when you know the truth. My brother, if you know the truth, speak it. God is not anywhere to kill you. God don't kill any person. God can only protect you when you are doing good to himself. So, so chineke ge iwe chineke ga di oku maka oku onu nkiti nku ma ni iwe chineke ha di loku maka ndo cha na slave wan for how many years iwe chineke ha di loku na france na ami niger na ebu niger citizens for more than 200 years iwe chineke ha di loku na america jide uganda na ami agwodo woto woto god anger no rise up God, anger did not rise up that Britain is drawing 95% of Nigerian oil. God, anger did not rise. God, anger did not rise that a Californium, one gram, 
is 27 million US dollar was discovered in Nigeria and the Britain and the American is selling it without Nigeria having 1% of it. God, the anger is not, uh, does not rise up. God, the anger is not rising up. That is uh, 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 Cameroon have oil, but they cannot use it. God, anger is, does not rise up. God is contented. God is happy with the white people for subjecting the black to the lowest, to be lower than animal. God is happy. But God, anger will rise up the moment you tell Louis Bukobi to stop deceiving ourselves. God, anger. Boom. Okubo goes. Boom. It seems name. I say. It seems that that God exists. God, anger will be rising the moment you tell WF Kumi that he's a criminal, that he should stop deceiving Nigeria. Which God will work, will work, will do, repair Nigeria through Tinubu? Which God? WF Kumi, which God review this nonsense you talk? Have WF Kumuyi condemned the killing of innocent people? God's anger did not rise. God always find poor people to make them rich men. You don't know the reason at all. God anger will kill Mazar Chebepol because he called Mbaka a criminal. But God anger will protect Mbaka for telling Nigerians that Ibuari is a prayer answer. God will be happy. Eh? God will be happy with you with the Kumui for telling Nigerians that he, Tinubu will fix Nigeria. God will not get angry. God will not get, get angry for Tinubu for trying to make sure that Nigeria did not rise to take what belonged to them. God will be happy. That God, I don't need it. A Nidro Mudi God, that God is a bastard. It's a bonfu God. How can God be, be, be protecting white people? And be subjecting me to, to poverty, and I will be praising the God. I don't need that such God. I need a God that will kill me because I say this thing. The same God will kill white person because he said the same thing. I don't need a part, a God that don't know the meaning of injustice. A God that fold his hand and watch Africa to suffer to death. A need from that God. A God that allow black Africans, children, to be dying in media numbers in Mediterranean Sea and he fold hands and he protect the white people who cause the death. A need from that God. I need a justice, God of justice, God of truth, God of God of thunder. Say the truth. God, 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 God. God, 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 what is God? Your God is your God. Anything you do today, you do it on your own. They will put fear to you. Say, Mazi, don't say this. God, anger. That word, God, anger. God, anger. Look at the nature. This God, anger. Of luck in Genesis, destroy, yeah. This oh God, anger. Of law Queen Elizabeth, see Queen Elizabeth a bitch and to be more than 100 years. And God anger did not visit him, visit her. God anger did not rise up for the killing of more than three million Biafrans. His anger is low. One no, don't allow any person to deceive you with God anger. You your own God is your God. There is no any other God anywhere that the whole world they worship. Ashi. There is no God anywhere that will destroy you. There is no God anywhere that will destroy you. Don't fall for that nonsense. God anger can never rise against the, the politicians in Africa, but God anger will rise against poor man. God anger did not rise against Wike for ringing River State election. God anger make him a minister and a senator. God just bless Wike for ringing River State against the will of the people. 
God and God just rewarded Mwike with the senator. And the, on top of making him a senator, God rewarded him to become a minister in Abuja. Eh? God anger just take Tinubu and make him president after Tinubu loot Lagos Woto Woto. After Tinubu sold drugs, God make him the president of the Federal Republic of the Zoo called Nigeria today. And that is <laughs> God anger, no rich there. Mention one person God anger killed any politician in Nigeria. They are stepping from high tone to high, from one step to, to the other. If Tinubu died today, his children will, will continue living their life. God anger, no rich there. God anger blessed Queen Elizabeth with the highest good. And the useless Nigerian pastors are telling you there's heaven there somewhere. Which heaven? Kebe the heaven, no day. Heaven, no nebe. Ejiru heaven, ne you, ne ego. You believe there is heaven. And the white people are not trying to discover this heaven. The white people have gone to the moon, gone to all the planets, trying to enter sun. But there is no any white country. There is no any white man that is trying to discover where heaven day. Are you not stupid? There is no person, no woman being on this earth now trying to know where the hell fire and the heaven day. You know, they ask yourself this question. These are the reasons why Africans are in bondage. Heaven and on Even one say, even go one is now a pastor after killing five million persons. He will serve God and many other no of heaven. Eh? The whole question I ask here, I'll be waiting for pastor or any Christian to tell me, Mas, this thing you say about Bible is a lie. Here is where the Bible writes. Correct me. I said in the Bible, there is no place in the Bible that God will say, whom shall I send and the Jesus say, here I am, send me. Or the Lord Bible is not in the Bible. Can you quote me, tell me that I am lying? Now, who, why did your pastor say that God say, I, I here I am, send, send me? Why do they for, fabricate that lie? It's to put you in bondage. And I had said to you again that is Jesus, the sole name of Jesus is Christ. Who is that Christ? Because you cannot be answering Jesus Christ. The Christ is your son name. Who is Jesus Christ? Who is the Christ? It's not God. And I ask you people that is going to Jerusalem, going to this. Can any of you show me the family of Jesus Christ? Because he has a lineage. Where is the family of Jesus Christ? You go to Israel, you show us the tomb where they put buried Jesus. You show us where this one. Show us the family of Jesus Christ in Israel. Why can't you show us? Did, did the family die? Do you believe in superstitious? Superstitious is what you believe in. Oh, God is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Your forefathers, 2,000 years, Jesus never come and they still believe that he's coming soon. Some tell you, say, go come like a thief. Oh, mama, Jesus, because they say he will come like a thief. He will come like a thief. Jesus will dare or blow some be laddy. Because they told you he will come like a thief. And I know for somebody to come like a thief, you, they must kill the person like a thief. Mas don't speak. I ask you again, what is the value of Reverend Sister? Madichi Reverend Sister now, care the value in the society. Care the value of Madi Memakata, Owolong, Yeti Reverend Sister. 
get the functions of reverend sister what is the functions of reverend sister and what is the purpose of becoming reverend sister not even reverend sister can don't even know the reason why they become reverend sister Ozaram Ozaram Bike Mbike Okafo. Please go on and share it. Invite them. Tell them that I put a challenge to any pastor, Christian person, to bring to the world where Bible say that God say, Whom shall I send? And he Jesus say, Here I am, send me. I want to see it. Although on a Bible, it's not in the Bible. Oh, here Jerry Hall on easy. That is what they are using to chop them. I prophesy. Why is God not revealing to the white people? Go to the Europe here. They have the best school. They have the best hospital. They have everything. The best house. They live. Ever no get a fan on here. Constant electricity. No kuno here. Mba mwa ku ya bo ku. If we are okay na vosa in oku here in afia. Once Nakulu Wokwa on Wagu had Hakosi Yamoku, nearly the constant. Ncho hit and bamboo hitter, ncho air condition, bamboo air condition. These are the things government put in a place. Now, the reason why Africans are living in bondage is the Reverend Fathers and your pastors who have made you to believe that you can make it through prayer. Ask yourself, why is Dubai developing? Is Dubai not a Muslim country? Why are they developing? Why is Qatar developing? Is it not a Muslim country? They hosted World Cup. You see how much they, they spend. Most of the big players now are going to Qatar to play. Can Ronaldo agree to come and play in, your, in any African country club? Do you have the standard? Can Messi agree to come to Africa? Can Neymar agree to come to any African country? Can Mbappe agree to come there? But they are going to those Arab countries that bring Arab uh, Muslim to you. You know why? Because they know that you are stupid. They say, go and kill for seven veggie. You carry knife. You want to go and kill. You become Boko Haram. Become Flani Bandit. An Igbo man. African man will say he want to pray. He say his headquarter of prayer is in Israel. Why the other people are going to Saudi Arabia in well sense? They use religion to divide us. Your pastors cannot preach about uh, fuel scarcity. Your pastors cannot tell the government, no, you cannot sell fuel, 100, uh, 600 uh, naira. Fuel must be sold for 50 naira. This fuel is our own natural resources. For that, if you don't bring this fuel for 50 naira, I as and my canal other pastors come together and hold nationwide protests. The whole pastors will be on the front and the back. The whole reverend fathers, the whole churches leaders, the cat kids, all of them will come out to hold one week uh, uh, non-stopping protest for fuel to bring to to be sold for fifteen naira, and then the church members will be cooking to be bringing to them. Why can't you have a good uh, 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 governance by force? At that point, you know that the, this is something they're supposed to be doing for you. Tell Mbaka, tell Kumuyi, a, this bunch of criminals, tell Oyadipo, tell Enoko, tell them, all of them, to come together. Tell Oyakilome, tell Mbaka, tell Oyibukobi, it's not about prayer. Tell them to hold protests. Let their church member and be bringing for the people that is organized that is doing the protest not living day and night and say that fuel must be sold for 50 naira and the oil must be all over the country constantly before that protest we hold for one month believe you me the country will have solution the solution is but guess what kumui moka Ebukobi, Onyadipo, 
and Olani, Olani, all of them are a bunch of criminals. They make you to believe that there is a miracle money somewhere. Suleiman, the pant remover, tell you that I am not going to tolerate anything. If you say anything against me, I will come, I will arrest you with the Holy Spirit. Bastard. Put your Holy Spirit. Police. All these people, there is no power in them. There is no any power. All those things are superstitious belief. Superstitious belief. That is why I am telling you. If you are to be in this IPOB, you need to free yourself from mental slavery. If you are still a Christian, you are not a freedom fighter. You can't carry a slave bondage, a slave embargo, and be, and be following us. Isaiah 6, chapter 18 to 13. It is for Isaiah, not Jesus. Thank God, okay. On where quote to that Bible? On where quote to the arm of never. My brother, don't give them a school. Let them come with Isaiah chapter 6. You know, I can remember Mbasi, our last born, Hannah made graduation. Ngeba, Hannah Wegu. Imegu Hannah Go. Do you know why I love Jesus? Do you know why I love Jesus? Do you know why I love Jesus? I love Jesus. I love Jesus. As he was going to Calvary, he carried a lot of sin. As he was going to Calvary, he carried a lot of sin. They beat him, they slap him. He fell on the ground. They beat him, they slap him. He fell on the ground. Have you heard the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8? The Lord say, whom shall I send? Jesus said, my father begin to send me. My father begin to send me. That is why I love Jesus. But after the impression, next time I go to the quote Bible, many are wrong interpretation. If they just made them to believe that Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 was Jesus speaking. Because the Nigerian pastors can never read the Bible from the beginning. They only give them one chapter without letting them know who is saying it. And so, don't say that again. If I don't know to make to buy wrong Bible, not make Bible misinterpret, you will be marveled. That is why that is why you can achieve that. He put me in that church for me to read and understand. One thing of me, when I was going to church, if you quote Bible for me, I must read from beginning. I don't read from where you start. Even when we read that place you start, if I go house, I will start and from beginning to know where that word comes from. To know where that word comes from. But Nigerian Christians don't read the Bible. They ban them not to read the Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, if Nigerian Christians mean well for their citizens, if Nigerian Christians, pastors, mean well for the poor masses, the pastors have what it takes to fix Nigeria. Now, why can't your Yakilone? Suleiman, Onyedipo, Kumuyi, Enok, Mbaka, Kuka, Oluoma, Monso, Ebukobi, Idaboski, Bawose, eh, eh, Akwa Kukoti Walaki, eh, Ezobi, eh, 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 Ke Mafia, Miriam Wilo, and all this, all this social media pastors and native daughters, why can't them lead the protests? One, bringing the condition that one, fuel price must be 50 naira. 50 naira. Fuel price, 50 naira. Constant electricity. There must be a road network, road connecting to the whole cities. There must be uh, uh, this thing, uh, railway. There must be hospital. Mandi Jugo, Mandi Nejilego, Ghana Mumwana Hospital. Delivering in Europe, all over Europe, is free. 
there must be a hospital for pregnant women from antenatal to the delivery date should be free. No, and there must be doctors working two four seven, and they make this plan. They leave churches, they leave their church, they come on the street and they mount this pressure there. Their church members, those one that so that are good to be bringing water, caprice we na alaha. Those that if Reverend Father Sinjamu Alabu, those that die in the hotel, should be cooking for them. Why they are on this protest? Why can't Nigeria be fixed? But they will not do it. Tulubu, we we eat after collecting tithe from poor masses, after making subjecting poor innocent deeper life members to die. He will collect the money and they come to social media and tell you that uh, God will deliver Nigeria through Tinubu. You tell them that God will not destroy that man. Emmanuel, we are doing great. I cannot do this. The solution is there. That is why when you see Matthias Ezak fighting, he knows the reason why he's fighting. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, if any each your church branch, all the poor people there, when there is somebody finding it difficult, your church tithe, carrying the person come out. Let's say you want to raise one million for this guy to start business. That is where it will start. They make you the the West some use this this uh, this uh, this church to put us in bondage and is killing Africa today. Why is Africa living in bondage? Episode two. If you have not watched episode one, go and watch yesterday program. That is episode one. We are here to deliver our people from mental slavery, fiscal slavery, and otherwise. Let me know. The link is here. If you're a Christian, I want you to come in. Let me drop the link in case you want to. You are a Christian. I need to here support. I need an opposite, opposite agenda. I have an opposite person. The link is there. Even if you don't want to show your face, come in as a pastor. Come and quote Bible for me and tell me why where 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 Bible writes what you are doing today. You are calling the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are calling God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you are your forefathers, somebody is abandoning you and be calling another person father, will you go and save that to your child? You will turn your back because he disgraced you. The moment you start asking your pastor's question, the moment that is the moment you will start knowing the truth. And when is your on a Bible? There is no truth in the Bible. What you see in the Bible is lie upon lies. The only way you can see truth is the one that you see in a tradition. The only truth you can see is the little one, the one they copy from the tradition. Before Christianity, Jesus is not a Christian. Where did he? Where? How did he become Christian? Jesus is a Jewish, according to the Bible. Who who now baptized him to be a Christian? Israel, you are going uh, to be showing where they bury your father as a Jesus or bury uh, the, the, the is Israel a Christian nation? Israel are they Christian? The answer is no. How do you now become Christian? Where did the Bible tell you that after you pray, you should pray in the name of Jesus? Where did he, where was he written? I'm full Christian. The link is there. Our own is the play, the show. We'll be no Halle. Greetings from here. The things the pastors need to be doing, they are not doing it. How can you be a pastor in Africa? You are an imam in Africa. 
you are not speaking about the colonialism and the, the the activities of the west the white people in africa you are not against it catholic church in nigeria is raising millions of millions for vatican city and the vatican city is using the money to pay italian citizens god join italy come i dare italy go and ask italian citizens if you are not working and the, you are uh, you you are italian citizen there's something they call ready to the cittadinanza the ready to the cittadinanza is for italian people that are not working for italian people that are not working they will be paying them more than thousands of euro you know the reason where are the money coming from it's coming from africa the same thing is applicable to France. France citizens that are not working, they are paying them every month for not working, just for them to be eating. And if you have not worked, you reach age of 70, you will go pension automatic. You will go pension. They will continue to be paying you pension without working. You see it? That is the system. In Africa, what are you preaching? What is your pastor preaching to you? Heaven, see? Heaven, heaven, hell, heaven, salvation, salvation, miracle money, panty removers, he will have money, labushi, their church members. They have power and they cannot do anything. You have power, you have you have the whole power. Say. Mbaka say, altar against an altar. You oil in Enugu is being drawn from Enugu to to Morocco, and you cannot use your altar to stop it. You cannot stop the white people from taking natural resources. You as a pastor, the Europeans are invading Africa. You have not rise to tell African youth to rise up. What are you preaching in your pulpit? Pulpit, I'll be pulpit. <laughs> what are you preaching in your pulpit? If you are a pastor, your wife will become mommy G.O. The Bible tells you that women should not climb the altar. Now, why is your wife climbing altar? Who authorized it? Which God or Bible are you following? No joke, men job. That is why the Morocco Madoka of the Blessed Moment, or see, or Morocco Mbaya Kansube, or your Machun Job, Utini Sinoka. You change at night. On your pagida alolana, pagida alolana. I say, oh, you have been forgiven. How can you be forgiven without telling who you offended that you offended him? So if I kill your family now, after I don't kill your family, I'll go to one reverend father and say, I kill somebody's family. And you just do in the name of the father and the Holy Spirit. Then I should you have forgiven. Then you will go to heaven. The potassi devil mark and the holy is holy. Holy mother chebe holy. Holy holy holy. Until we learn how to face the reality. Christianity did not bring any development in Africa. Because there is no development in Africa to date. What are the benefits of Christianity in Africa? There is no any benefit of Christianity in Africa, and that is what is keeping Africa in bondage. Learn the truth. Learn the truth. You go see some Christian, uh, uh, some Christian bingos. The, the Christian pastors, they say, as you are talking about Muslim, I mean, as you are talking about Christian, why can't you talk about Muslim like that? So you are very Muslim. Muslim don't believe in 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 in, in Dundee United. Muslim believe in action. Why can't you believe in action? That is why Muslim are domin dominating you. If not for Christianity, Muslim cannot dominate him because he will be fire for fire. It will be iron, sharpest iron. But you come, you make me to, to be poku. You made us to be poku, you made us to become useless before others. 
Ask yourself, why is Israel not praying for God to come and destroy Palestine? Why is Israel not praying for God to come and destroy in Iraq? Why is God not praying for why is Israel not praying for God to come and destroy their enemy? But Israel go with guns and bullets. You are not wise. You will see an a black mugu in Europe carrying Bible. Go to the street of Italy and preach Jesus. You will get you will be arrested. Go to UK and preach Jesus on their street. You will be arrested. Go to US, preach Jesus on the street. You will be arrested. Go to any part of Europe, preach Jesus. You will be arrested. Ask yourself, why are they arresting the people who are preaching the spirit? Are uh, preaching about Jesus? And the God, the God anger did not rise. If you kill one Israeli, Israel will bring war to you. If you kill one America, America will bring war to you. If you kill one Russia, Russia will bring war to you. If you kill one Germany, German, Germany will bring war to you. If you kill one France, France will bring war to you. If you kill one Muslim, Muslim will bring war to you. If you kill one million Christian, holy, holy, holy. Holy, Holy Spirit, take control in my life as I'm walking along the way. The road is so narrow. Holy Spirit, take control. Umu, um, 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 kapie dwe benine. So when you kill millions of Christians, Holy Spirit will take control. That is the mentality of Christian. Why is Africa living in bondage? Until the African pastors stop preaching salvation and heaven and start telling the citizens of African youth to rise up against the government, to know the meaning of revolution, to know when to fight and when to pray. You can only pray to God. Maybe when you are going for war, say, God, please protect me for this war I am going. You can't tell God, I will go and fight my war. God can never fight your war. There is no spirit that will come and fight for you. You are the one to fight for yourself. That is the reason why Africans are living in bondage today. Because the pastors and reverend fathers are the tools the white West are using to pin not down. Using that word, thou shalt not judge, so that you will not be judged. They say, don't ask a question. Oh, you are infidel, unbeliever. I am not of the world. Don't associate yourself of, of, with the people in the world. Ije baiga moto onye chaye na alo. Chine kega po goku. Ije baiga, iye aboye, ije mwogu onye indi alo. India that is not a Christian, you are taking their medicine. But you don't need to associate. Why are you still taking the injection produced by an India? Who don't believe in your Jesus? Who don't believe in Christianity? You are taking what India produce, Japan, China, Korea, Qatar, Dubai. You are eating their product. And you don't want to associate yourself with unbelievers. When you want to say, say oh, the Britain, the, you are putting on clothes. How many of the clothes was made by England? Italy is not a Christian country. Come to Italy. When you talk about Christ, they will tell you, say, what a small God. Madonna or Mary. small Mary. Manangiwa, only soji, Ibu and Nisi Kagala. You are poor, powerful, and you are useless. If you know the you are uh, the God loves you too much, there is heaven somewhere. Ask yourself, the people who bring that Bible to you never allow you to enjoy the natural resources in your land. The crisis you see in Africa today is what God bless you with. That thing that is valuable, that gold in your land, 
is why the, the white people who give you Bible, they are killing you because of the gold in your land. The people who gave you Bible is killing you because of diamond in your land. The people who give you heaven is killing you because of oil in your land. The people who give you heaven is killing you because of uranium in your land. The people who give you heaven is killing you because of uh, California in your land. The people who give you heaven is destroying you because of the natural resources that they see in your land. What makes you that think that the same people will go to heaven with you and they allow you to be close to heaven? They will still chase you out of heaven to hellfire, in case you don't know. I told our people and I told them that can Africa come together to protest? One say that I am in Europe. How can I protest against against Europe? Why I'm in Europe? That means you don't have sense. The fear they have put fear in you. They make you to be to be afraid of anything. Then brought Islam. Then tell one, marry as many wife as you can marry. Then tell the other one, no marry wife. Hey, na chineka chineka enka no ndo ndo ka ndo ka ndo ka ndo ka ndo ka mad people everywhere. Eju ka weli anyi mugu. Eju ka weli anyi baho basa. Onweli onweli one video na watch this money. Let me play it. Wait, let's start afresh. Pay attention. Scripts, they told you, thou must not kill. And then it comes to, to the Christian Bible, they say, thou shalt not kill. They say, anything which is being offered to the gods or the deities, don't go and take it. Whatever belongs to your neighbor, belongs to your neighbor, not to you. So you have no right to go and take those ones. That Do you hear that? What belong to your neighbor belong to your devil. That is what Bible say. And the European that bring the Bible are in Africa taking the oils that belong to Africans. Why can't your pastor use this quotation to chase the white people in Africa out? Why can't the Bubemonson? Why can't uh, WF Kumui all this criminal? Why can't your neighbor that is a criminal use this scripture that say what belong to your neighbor belong to your neighbor to chase the white people that is slaving the Africans? Why can't they use it to chase them out? They cannot quote it, but they can quote heaven for you. Can you know the Where did they get the information? Mm -hmm. I have already proven to you that Moses could not have written the Bible because at that time he was not there. Like you hear one it? of our politicians here, you and I were not there. We are not saying the truth about ourselves, but we allow other people to come and tell us what they think that God said to them. When I raise my two hands like this, what will be the meaning? I have nothing. Okay. No, not that you have nothing. This is the car, the symbol of the car. Now you have the car and the bar, and you have the car bar. It's a black rock. So we got out from this country, and we flew a line and went down to Israel, Israel, to go and buy a rock to come and build a cathedral, creating the impression that the creator of the universe lives in a house somewhere which is a lie. Creator of the universe is a spirit, and according to the book of the beginning, is the spirit of all spirits. Then, you can't build a house for it, or for her. There has been this discrimination against the women. Every time Did you hear that? Is a man. Did you hear that? Now, they will tell you, say, come and build a house for God. Is God living in any house? How can a spirit be, be you will be building mansion for God? Negenti. That is why I say ask questions. Any day you ask your pastor question, that day you will know the truth. Not, not, uh, not allow them to tell you, say, this are the what the spiritual. He does tell and say you and you need the spirit, the physical meaning of it. Negenti. That is not correct. A man never gives them. It's a woman who gives them. A woman okay. will take the food and keep it for nine months and bring out bulls and flesh. You hear it? And then the spirit. But now we give all the praises to the man. Mm. But the man does anything, nothing. You don't know yourself. So the mystics will tell you, man, know thyself. Who are you? 
<laughs> who are you? Who do you want to be? If you don't know that one, you will dance in semicircles all the time. You go, ah, then you come back to the same point because you have not yet identified yourself. The problem of Africa is that we want to look outside of ourselves. We want to borrow people's noses to smell. We want to borrow people's eyes to see, and their brains to think, their ears to hear. You will never make it. When you Do you hear that? The problem of Africa is that we want to borrow uh, eyes, outsiders' eyes to see. You want to borrow ear to hear. You want to borrow everything to, to use, but you never... You can never make it while borrowing it. Go back to your root. God who created you and give you that your root never made a mistake. If God will know that this your root will make be a mistake, he will never create it in the first place. What you have is enough for you to be great. The reason why Africans are suffering today is because Africa abandoned their own and be looking for white man own. Imagine your father now will be alive and you are calling another person father and you are calling your father evil. How will your father be reason you? You yourself, imagine your picking now be calling me father and be calling you evil man. How will you see that you're picking? You will be crying, sharing tears. You can even get anger and kill that you're picking. That is what is putting African in bondage. We live our own. We want Jesus, a white man, God, to come and help us. And you condemn your forefathers. You condemn your own. How can that your own be, be help you? Our forefathers have turned their back on us. That is the suffering of Africa today. Any day we remember and we go back to our fruit, you will see we will rise up again. We will rise up again. Listen. How can you make it? Know who you were in the beginning. Who you are now and who you want to be tomorrow. Simple. That is the only solution to Africa's problem. And uh, liberate ourselves from all these foreign names. If you continue, when they call John and you look there, and you are not John. You have your name. You were born, you were given a name. Why do you abandon your name? People are coming to realize that they must take their own names. Because in their names, they have power. Mm. The girls have a beautiful name for our alcohol. When I used to have some Russian teachers when they came to our school, what do they drink? They don't drink vodka again. They will drink apeteoshi. They have it in their fridges. They will have the apeteoshi cubes in their fridges. And when it comes to rest, no apeteoshi is demeaning. We want champagne. We want this. You are not getting anywhere until we get back to what is ours. So they tell you that which has been given to you. Don't look at what has been given to somebody. It was not given to you. It's been given to you. You have yours. And you don't want that one. You want to go and take somebody's Jesus. That <laughs> Jesus does not know you. He will never die for you. So what is my own? Who knows? What, what have you got in your house? My house? Yes. <laughs> Black? In Africa, uh -huh. or because you are a Christian, so you don't believe in the things that your ancestors have left. Do you hear that question? He asking you, what? Do, who do you have in your house? He say his father. He said my papa. He said so. You don't believe in what your ancestors left for you. Now some of you will see an evil native daughter, and they say, is this one among the native daughter? I will be looking at them. I'm the freedom fighter. I want to defend my faith. And I ask you, the reverend sister you are becoming, are you not simple, useless? The Bible you are reading, you are not following it. The Christian you said you are, you are not following it. Because if you follow Bible self, you will, your eye will open. The Bible says, go into the world and multiply. You go and become reverend sister. Which God are you following? The same Bible says, woe unto ye that is single. Woe. It was 
he got he got blue reverend sister reverend father he not was into wolu kukumba na juri on wegi he fetching a key whoop take a wall akwala nan na no sage he na in 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 what in an alazy week Alba Gesi, eh, Antichrist, the God is coming. God will destroy you. God have this, God have not destroyed China. God have not destroyed India. And China is number one economy in the whole wide world without knowing Jesus. India is making wave. India become the third country to land in the moon, but <laughs> they don't know Jesus. When will your country that knows heaven and earth, when will they land in the moon? Hey, God, oh, hey, see God, see God, oh, see God, God want to keep my head. Hey, you know, no, see God, Kapia, which God, God will protect me for telling you the truth. If there is some mighty God, he can only protect me, give me the more courage to speak the more. He can never destroy me because he said, speak the truth. You don't come from a house. I come from uh, I, 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 I was given bed by someone. Okay. Uh -huh. and, in the house. Uh -huh. so they, they didn't pray for you. They carried you from the hospital or whatever. They're straight to the church. <laughs> and so I baptize you in the name of Jesus and all. <laughs> that one does nothing. The one which has power is the one you do in your house. Let them pour the libation and call the ancestors to guide you on your journey through life. That is my own. That is what I have. Yes, that is your house. You have parents. Yes. You have grandparents. Mm -hmm. You have grand grandparents. Mm -hmm. they, don't they exist? Some of, they, some of them are dead. They, they left the flesh, but they are still around. Oh, okay. If you call them, they will respond. Oh, okay. If you don't call them, don't blame them. Herodotus Tutu said, the people who lived in that area possess the powers of divination to interpret the will of God. Will of God interpretation gives you the science of divination. So you know, become right reverend professor, doctor, this. Useless. Ah. Yeah. Papa will what, never make this interview. interview. It's what are you this. doing? Why are you Chris Felix, becoming right from here. reverend professor in somebody's consciousness? What he has taught and written down, then you are copying it. But what you have been given, you have left it. You think that the creator of the universe discriminates? Hmm. The creator does not discriminate. If the creator does not discriminate, what has been given to you? Be proud of it. You hear that? What have been given to you? Be proud of it. Be proud of it. Africa abandoned their own. You want to be carrying Jesus. And I ask you this question. What are the benefits of your sister becoming a reverend sister? The one that he paid me is that go to the reverend sisters in America. They are there. They are there taking care of the American old women. Go and make investigation. Now only few of your reverend sisters are working in hospital as a cleaner, not even as a medical doctor. Go to your reverend sisters in UK. They are there taking care of old UK women. Come to your reverend sisters in, in Italy. They are in Rome, all part of Italy, taking care of old Italian women. And they are not being paid salary. They are giving pocket money. Ask yourself, what is the use of the reverend sister? How many of the Italian citizens are reverend sisters? How many of Italian citizens are Reverend Fathers? They are not. But your sister in Africa are becoming Holy Ghost Reverend Sister. Abanyere in Genaka. I say you have married to Holy Spirit God somewhere. Your sister question in Amaho. That girl is supposed to be the person that will born the great man, a president that will change the nation. They have condemned that very dream by deceiving her into becoming single. You are praying, oh Jesus, how can Jesus die for you? Are you, are, is Jesus from your country? Jesus, 
and they want me to abandon Namu Achebe. I now pray with the name of the forefathers, in case you don't know. And the best in the paper, I can bet you ten half a chebe. I hand the best yet belly for. And on a lolo molo. Senta chebe, your ballo my yo. Nan namofa, your ballo my yo. If you had in his, your ballo my yo. He had in a boy state, your ballo my yo. He had in his, your ballo my yo. He had in a dinanambra, your ballo my yo. He had in a dinamambala, I am a lomomo, your ballo my yo. That is how I pray now, because Jesus cannot help me. Your reverend father has gone with his yoku, and when the miracle happened, there is no reverend father that cure headache. It have been proven beyond doubt. South Africa and Joker, the Europe and the Tolu Joker, Jenny Europe, K A J J Joker in Europe, eighty years in the Nagolu pension. Pensioners, oh, he ain't a joker. Hello, dear, hello, dear. Hana, I never be there below. I'm going to use a hand again. I think for Nigeria to work today, it depends on the Christian. On well, any place, go and ask yourself: Have you seen a Christian leader fighting to liberate his people? It's never be in any way. The only people that are fighting to liberate their people is traditionalists. Anyone you see fighting to liberate his people is not a believer of Christ. Mazin Namdekane is not a believer of Christ. He has said it several times. And he told you that Jesus is a, a name of a, 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 a Greek idol coming from Mazin Namdekane. Nelson Mandela is not a believer of a zombie called Christ. I'm not going to say If you're not Africa now, you're not Yahoo, you're Jesus. Jesus. Until we rise up and fight, tell the people the truth. They have subjected Africa to become prayer warriors. People are making history. Ask yourself, Jesus love you. Jesus fight for you. And no African country have won World Cup. Are you not ashamed of yourself? So Jesus knows if you make the, any African country to carry World Cup. And the, the country that you don't know Jesus is carrying World Cup. But he, 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 your country don't know how to carry World Cup. Your country don't know how to make history. When you come to the world power today, you will come to 100 countries. You cannot see any African country among the world powers. Why? Your country is forbidden to be the head of the state, the head of the world. Hmm? Are you not ashamed? Eh? God want to call. You don't see any big man children come. Only poor people in the call. Kumuyu was poor man, poor teacher. And he, he knows the format, how to scam people, he become rich. Onye Dekpo is a poor man. He know how to scam people, he become rich. Suleiman is a poor Kada rider. He know how to scam people, he become rich. Moka is a poor, poor man. Today he's a rich man. Look at Agboro. Muko shiri nona opi weka ne lo du. Oka oka kori agwa bagana. Shiki no obi intahosi. Bahosa. He's now a big man. Go and check the whole big man. Chris Oyakilo me say confirm computer 419. Today is he crying tear. Oh lad. Lad. Go and check their background. All of them are poor, poor, broke ass. That is why they don't think about you. They know that there is no God somewhere killing any person. And they know that they don't have any power. They know this thing I am telling you. And these are the things the politicians knew. That is why they know that if you sit down, curse, abuse, they know that it doesn't work. Abuse doesn't pay. No cost work. That is why the African politicians are chopping you. They know that the pastors and the reverend fathers are there to pin you down. For them to, 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 to draw you woto woto. Any day the pastors stop making you to believe all this nonsense, you will rise to know your right. Mbaka, now you are talking adoration. 
In case if you don't have a hospital, do you know how many Enugu people that are dying every day for child for labor? There is no hospital in Enugu state. If you don't have money, you will die during child labor. In Europe here, the moment you became pregnant, they will sign you doctor. You Your wife would deem a sign earlier a gynecologist, okay? Anna, Anna, yeah, uh, Italy, yeah, they are Malamiana. Yeah, they are assigned earlier the doctor. Now I can take care of that in one. I can check him on one hand up on a position. Momo Palamo, Momo Califenina is well, okay. Nima for the dog and Muma are one over for giving for making. For giving this country, on uh, for multiplying the country, for adding human being for the country, and you go share dialo for him. Thank you for giving birth. He told him your bona. He told him one aga jogi. He told him one one akagi. He told him mega oppression. Abu ne chalo pushing. He didn't want your subo subo. Thank you. Italy na be a pediatra. Pediatra be Italy. English word they can match up. Uh, hale if yeah Italy na be a pediatra, but the English word I'm call gynecology. I have been all over gynecology and the pediatra bo for onya mugolu for umwazi. Oh for umwazi. Ndi ne take care of pregnant women. I think it's called gynecologist. I don't have have forgotten. Now, once him more that in one, Hana Pugin one. Haga mamma on one, walk a con wine, ni mafia, a maku go, all these things. Everything ni now free. A mozan one hamu, again, I can check him out. Yeah. Aha, thank you, genocologist. Thank you, Okwara Linda. Adapt. Now, I get check in one month and I look all I got that test, can't ya? I get test to this backbone, more quick straight, more whatever I got all one whole Within one month, I get check here the spinal cord. Your I get check here the soul for Biana, Moyaga Quija. I get check in one more book, Piani, and Moyagija. Ege cheki ya kianya. Ege cheki ma akwa lari ya ni na dekwa well connected. Ege tinye machine na aru. E cheki ya the body system. Ege cheki mwa humo oge pukweze. Oge pukweze wa fuma. Ege cheki ya mwa hafu kuzo. Mwa na vagi ya mwa hafu wa behozo. Mwa na haga no die. Ne cheki everything. Ege cheki ya imi ya mwa ye kukwiu imi. No boda. Imu cha mwa. Mwa gine me. Ne kume. That is now make on us now on here there. He got no na begging for a pediatra. The moment him unwa kaga sign he get to your doctor of that child, and the all compulsory every month you must take that child to that doctor. Kone ne nya ho. He get take little unwa him to that child. Doctor ahu chong unwa ha chong maga patadia. Oso ni e jana many Nigerians umu hamiro pumana hamalo. Anna no more as in Europe, but some people don't know. It forgot that in one who to pediatra, inge cheki, inge cheki, inge cheki, one who the doctor got no deal, my bag anything, or they got allow what the government that this child you are not taking proper care of this child. That doctor man nagging one who now got no ginazo, then everything, then the report, what the government in big basu, he put it for one who to hammer. Then they check him on well or make one had a hospital because Obu naturally forget to that one. He got that hospital. Ebbing moon, ebbing moon. 
and we the same uh, pediatra, which is uh, I think a gynecology. Now the same hospital. It is your right. If you are in Ghana and can in your city, Ghana, your now the country, uh, the hospital. Eight three. How was it there that I will go above the Kolomwa Hoga Hospital and in the Kolomwa here to uh, the doctor? In we go sobu. In we get to go sobu no bodam because you have tempered with that child life. I'm a mumwa na bono bodam and we end up again. John de mumwa no bodam. And we're one of our family member here. Ne, he had an issue now. One one, or when young we are in my as only children and the black Indian, or when young we are the modern he had there now for a question. Young we a man immediately because a bone of that in a call your acular that is very small boy. Up for that small boy, we got to that a pediatra. He and a member no. The doctor join her. Ke o gwi ne nye mwa, o go siye di o gwa jia, ke du ki jie nye, o we siye na, ka huwa hu ji siye ike, na nye ba yeri, two times of ye kwe siye ba nye once, e mana no jia, na pu go di mwa first. Da doktor ni to call hospital, joba ha, me nye mwa so so this thing, ke e di ife ti gini ke gen, e na pu go di mwa, ayi, da, da, da te family nye lo, obo na mwa meke te shake yo na, and when we do effect, not that all go on, we have effect. Now, child, child, and we look at that poly and one again. It might be reason. Or the local people in the one hand. Two, she have tempered with that child their life. Three, that child, the amount of adults save when they are cost study. Yeah, yeah, what's it have? So, so family. Yeah, now, no one. We're not going to be able to go to that place. Yeah, yeah. In what you like, you carry the highest lawyer on this earth. That child is not yours. On the many tally here, draw many in Nigeria, most especially Bini people, Namalo, they are left from right. And now, who will go go now? They are taking their children left and right here in Europe because they believe that once they give them that child benefit, they send to, to Nigeria without taking care of their child. That Italy now, now, Mwazi go 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 and call lawyer, they don't care. Even some of our brother here, Anna, they are five children here. Go and call the lawyer. You are they don't care about you. If all the lawyer drugging this child on Guma Moya, yes, can you take care of the child? Why do you abuse the child? These are what government put in a place. But in Africa, trauma if we be pastor na kaba no na be be le mebelu pastor he be hey chris nde wo shi won shi eh lord lord gina nke nere anya da lori nne i really appreciate for the love you you people showed my wife ogo she that na nwe nka nwe madu da lori nne da lo Unafuli ya anagunu, why Africans are living in bondage? The Christian leaders are the people making Africans to live in bondage. Do you want to tell me that if the Christian leaders are fighting to liberate Africa, fighting for the right of Africa, fighting for African youth to have what belongs to them, how can we be suffering? How can, how can a pastor be praying for visa for you to go to Canada when the greener pastor is in your land? Why can't that pastor tell you uh, the government need to fix this country. Give me the Canada, not in the question in Nigeria. What is in USA that is not supposed to be in Africa? What is in Europe that is not supposed to be in, in, in Africa? But because your pastors are working with the government, the criminal politicians are five and six with your pastors. That is why a pastor will prophesy that a criminal will become the president. Come will he tell you that Tinubu will fix Nigeria because Tinubu is a Yoruba man? Come uh, uh, is a Yoruba man? Tribalism. He is a pure criminal. Have come you not seen the killing of Deborah Samuel? Did come you? Why did come you turn a blind eye on the killing of Deborah Samuel? What action did come you take to stop the killing of Christianity in Nigeria as a Christian father? 
Now, the Pope, the Vatican City, is now talking about the Nigerian Republic. Why did the Vatican City keep quiet about the slaughtering of the Northern uh, Kaduna Christians? Why did the Pope silent? He is not concerned about the Kaduna Christian killing. Hmm? Gina, I come near Tata Ota, but I will soon round up. Why is it the Pope here? I, in the presence of Italy, I call him criminal. I call the Pope criminal, he, and I can prove that. I ask them if the Pope is the head of church, why is Pope silent when Christians are being massacred in Borono State, in Kaduna State, in Benue State? What have the Pope done to stop the killing of Christianity? But he doesn't care. What matters to him is the oil they are using, they are drawing in the, in the name of uh, missionaries. Missionaries in Africa remain the worst thing that will happen to any person. You see anyone that tell you he's a missionary? If you see a black man that tell you that he's participating in a missionary work in Africa, kill him. Bonya is an evil black person. That is why I tell you, if you are a Christian, come with the Bible and they answer my questions according to the Bible. There is no place in the Bible God to say, whom shall I send? And Jesus say, here I am, send me. Or they learn a Bible. What who, Bible tell you, go and into the world and multiply. Why is you going into Reverend Sister and disobeying the God of Bible? You don't want to multiply. The same Bible say, Woe unto ye that is single, Nantrama Fufu, Gadero Ginanu Lodi, Kedonia Wadi Jet, Reverend Father and Reverend Sister, to disobey the Bible God. Are you not thinking? I know some of you will tell me Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul is not to God. I said God. Because we studied the Bible. We don't read the Bible. We studied the Bible. We give quotations. That is why. You come, you tell us, oh, this is it. I said, shut up. In the book of Deuteronomy, if you are living in a far place where you cannot bring your tithe to the Levite, sell it and use it to buy hard drink, hot to drink, alcohol, or the Bible. But today, the father say, hey, don't give us pan wine. Where did you study your own? The tithe is meant for women, widows, those who are not all here tithe and offering. Tata, Suleiman is have, having private jet. Onye Dipo buying private jet. All the pastors in Nigeria are rich. They forget to tell us what killed Eli and his family. What killed them? Because they eat what they bring for God. So today, that thing that destroys Eli family. Suleiman is enjoying it. You waiting at the local. At the boy is enjoying it. You waiting at the local. God don't have anger. God cannot kill any human being. I say to you people, Reverend Father Mbaka is in Enugu State. More than 1,000 Enugu women have died during child labor because of no money to go to uh, maternity, to go and deliver in the hospital. And the Mbaka cannot stand up and say, no, enough is enough. We need government hospital well equipped and free of charge for all the states in Nigeria. And for that, all the Christians, all the fake native daughters and the original native daughters, we must march on the streets. Now tell me, the population of the Reverend Fathers, pastors, catkis, and uh, all of them, they march on the streets. And these women that they are giving them pecos to fork, are cooking for them. Why can't government have hospitals that is functioning? Why can't fuel come down to 15 naira? Why can't you have constant electricity? Do you think that Europe have that through prayer? They will tell you, I see you. I see your forefathers against you. They are your village people. Nothing like village people. 
on a qu'un avenge one place by saying that woman talamos no de will only lead you off for me. Can fuck now, your madam. I'm the guy that me as your madam. Now the madam is in the lamos. Now Tom Kinyam that I'm most can die. The amos will go take the room with my amos. Say the truth. Then structured your brain to make you think that once you speak, there is God somewhere monitoring you. Oh, you have speak against men of God, they will kill you. Even the people that crucified Jesus in the Bible, nobody killed them. I think Jesus is coming soon. Oh, they're going to now. You don't come. And then, oh, they're Kubuana. Oh, they're in the Jericho form of Kubuana again. Oh, they're in the Osama Bin Laden, Kubuana. Para Kubama Kubuana. Go with the form one of the Hana Kubu. Oh, they're quick again. I can't Kubu again. Because it's of no use. We want to go heaven. Nga ran there up here, and uh, I ask them now well any Christian nga there jump question. Same Bible, see. Let us know where the Bible said. Let me know where the Bible know everybody. The why Africans are suffering today is because the Nigerian, the African pastors and the African Muslims made them to be suffering instead of telling them the truth to hold their government accountable instead of preaching. The truth telling the world that the only thing that can save you is good government, and you can only get that government government when you rise up and request for it. Revolution is one means of having good government. Protest is another means of having good government. Making decisions and taking civil disobedience is another means. Which one have they taken? Abu Kobi is sharing stomach cancer to our people. Ebukobi is sharing stomach cancer to people. And you don't know. Listen to this, our sister here. The white boy Jesus is coming back in this generation, blah, 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 Emma, blah, blah, blah. And as a person who left Christianity, yes, you're right. I do believe Jesus is back. And you know who that Jesus is? Those are my African ancestors. Those are my ancestors. Yes, you're right. Jesus is back and those are my ancestors. My ancestors are back. They are the Jesus that they wrote for you in the book of religions because the people who wrote the books knew time would come when you would wake up from the illusion of you needing them or their books and you stand on your own and you understand that you are strong without that fake book called the Bible, without that fake book called the Quran. And so you're right, my ancestors are back and I'm so happy because as us Africans, we were so much brainwashed to think and forget on who <coughs> we are, to live our beliefs and to deny and denounce everything that looks like us. But now my ancestors are back and they are the Jesus that you actually need and you better wake up and that confusion you're talking about is you. You are confused because now you're like, people are not believing in the book anymore. The world is forgetting Jesus, like the world is going to end. Who is going to save us? <laughs> Baby, let me tell you, you don't need anyone to save you but yourself and your ancestors that live in you, that live with you. Because without your parents, without your grandparents, without the parents of your grandparents, you would not be here today. Without my parents, without my mom in particular, deciding to carry me produce me and actually not abort me and accept to have me in this life i would not be here today if she if she decided like you know what i don't need this child like she's going to stress me the man is going to stress me i don't need to be a mother at this point if she decided to, to take me out i would be out simple and that is the reality so you, simple. you are confused but we no longer believe in that book that you honor that you give power and then you know what is funny is the fact that sometimes calamities can happen and the church remains and people are like you know god is so powerful a church was not burnt a church was you know it remained when the floods happened but you're forgetting that people died you forget that people lost properties you forget that children died you forget all those negative things that have happened to people and you talk about a building and a book that's the most insane thing i can ever tell me right now so you're right my ancestors are back and you know what is funny is the fact that they taught me and i learned that 
I am God, my ancestors are living within me. And when I see the, the water right here, when I see the clouds, the sun, the plantations, the animals, the people around me, it's all God. I see God. You, you cannot see God and Jesus without a book. That's the difference. So stop the confusion and come to your ancestors. <laughs> my research shows that the creator of the universe was not known as God. The creator was never known or was never called God from the beginning of time. The title or the name God. Now, those of you, Imana, every Christian, every some people you misunderstand the everything. Before you learn English, that word God, do you have God? Yes or no? No, before the English word come to you, what do you refer as your own God? Because when you say God, you have God and you call it in your language. Can any one of you tell me what God called in your language? In your own dialect, what do you people in your village, your forefathers, what do they call as God? Is it Jesus? Now, how come you people? I want somebody who will come and tell me that Jesus is God. Chineke Aponya Hoku. Asi, asi ya na Bible. Asi ya. Uh, Jesus teach us how to pray. He say, our father who art in heaven. Our father who art in heaven. Who is that our father? Is he Jesus? Umun kapi ebeni ne. Neba inga rapunu here until our people start to wake up to reason. We can never know the truth. Africans are in bondage today. Copsy of our fa, fa, uh, our pastors and the reverend fathers. The reverend fathers is what the, 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 the politicians are using to put us in bondage. Karagodu, I greet you. The reverend pastor, the reverend fathers, bishop, uh, pastors are what the politicians are using because they know you as a Christian, you cannot ask questions. They put that to fear. Who are you to question God? When you ask them questions in the Bible, they make you to believe that you are going to die when you question all these things. They make you to believe that when you tell them that Jesus is not God, you will, God will just somewhere, so the spirit will come and destroy you. They make you, they put that fear in you. That fear, that simple single fear they put in you is what they are using today. That is why that's the same fear. They make you know to challenge every white man today. That is fear they put in you that make England, France, Germany, and other part of the Western country to come to your country to be mining your natural resources without payment, without consulting you. They make you to believe that they are more superior. They make you they believe that once you speak something, God anger will rise upon you for speaking, for asking questions, for telling them. How did this thing happen? If you have not started a question, how will you know that your forefathers actually drank from that river Niger, which they tell you that uh, somebody Mongoboro Park, I be Mongo Park, <laughs> they call it Mongoboro Park. They tell you that Mongo Park discovered the river Niger, and the professor of history is lecturing you this in the Nigeria. How how do now? In that, if not that you have come and see that the river as large as that cannot be discovered as a, by a foreigner, that indigenous in that place notice that river, but then then they, they tell you this history. You actually believe it. If you can believe it, now you discover the truth. You must discover the same truth in the Bible. Then tell you that God created the Adam and the Eve. Then tell you they born two children. They make you to know to ask questions that the children, two children did not marry, did not, they are boys. How, where, who do they marry? Who born the girls? One even kill one and run to the neighboring village. You did not ask questions. They make you to believe that if you ask questions, there is God somewhere that will destroy you. They make you to believe that God has destroyed this earth before. Ask them how the black and the white come into exist. Who born each other? And if there is one person, believe you me, a black man cannot exist because the white genotype is higher than and more, is much stronger than the black one. That means 
if the white existed before black black white cannot give birth to black and the black it cannot give birth to to white so how come these two people come ordinary sense then then you cannot ask them since israel get their independence 1945 here and until today they will show you where they buried jesus they will show you this uh, this and that all those stories that happened in the bible they show you all this thing ask them to show you the family of jesus christ in israel ask them to show you the the remnant of the the jesus christ because if you are hearing about chino achebe go to um ogidi you will see the family of chino achebe if you talk about uh, power mike go you will see the people the family of power mike they are still existing if you talk about a uh, 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 what is he called nation their people our people that have lived and that are the great people you will see their generation still living their grand great grandchildren are still alive where are the the great grandchildren of jesus 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 family joseph born a lot of children where are they today do god still want them out ask yourself this question and the answer it tell them who is lilith lilith was the first wife of adam eve was the second wife of adam how did god created eve and adam why adam has first wife already these are the lies the bible the christian will never tell you but when you start making research and asking questions you know that everything about christianity is a scam is false doctrine that is why deeper life don't believe in anglican church anglican church don't believe in catholic catholic you don't believe in seraphim and seraphim seraphim and seraphim don't believe in jehovah witness jehovah witness don't believe in any of other ones ask them um, one, you, ask them god started working on sunday that is the first day of the week and rested on saturday and ask you to keep it holy who now tell you to start sunday on the to make sunday a sabbath day the, uh, leaving the sabbath day which is saturday why do you start going to church on sunday that god started working who are you deceiving now that is that one apart ask them why is the death of christ always on sunday and he don't have a fixed date at times jesus will die on april at times jesus will die on the march at times jesus will die on the may if your father die on the first of may is that date not going to be dead on um, may first who is changing the death date of jesus christ these are the questions christians will not answer you that is another one ask them the bible tell you woe unto ye that is single ask them why is reverend fathers single and the reverend sister single are they not hearing the word of god ask them the bible say go into the world and multiply when you are a reverend father are you multiplying the answer is no the same bible tell you any tree that is not bearing fruit should be cut off why is reverend sister bearing fruit they asked they told you they're married to god they should carry belly for god then reverend fathers are they bearing fruit hmm? so the reverend fathers need to be cut off one day, common sense is not common christianity must stop in africa okagala is a scam when you answer me this question and the thirdly who give that name jesus in the bible according to them they say when they when he when they prophesy that they will burn them he will they will burn him he said when they burn him they go he shall be called emmanuel when he was born in papa and the mama give him that name emmanuel the question when i want to ask you now what is the meaning of emmanuel God is with me. Is Jesus Emmanuel? Now, the question now is, who named him Jesus? Who baptized him Jesus? And the word of Jesus Christ, where did he come from? The word of Christ, 
where did that word christ come from who is the christ these are the questions you need to answer as a christian bingo you cannot ask your pastor questions that is christ who is he is the father of the man that fuck mary now in case you don't know christ now the man will not marry get there get there get there and what i will know is but a bastard on an already an area pray in anything believe in yourself your spirit is your god on another hand me now anna june say adjumunu did god ask you person whom shall we send who are the people and where did jesus say here i am send me it does not exist in the bible it does not exist nam the sea as we I challenge you to come. Give me the quotation. May we make a read them. The link is there. Open challenge. I challenge you. Everything I say here, come and give me the quotation. Make me and you read them together and prove the whole world that I am lying. The link is there. If you fail to follow this link, it is a proof that you are a you are a criminal. You are a scam. The link is there. Click the link or you call me on a signal. Nam the Azubike. The Bible, you hold it in your hand. Come and the letter, the whole world, everything I have said here, if I am lying, give me the quotation. Let us read together. The link is there. Click it. Click this place to prove to the world that I am a piece lying. The link is there. Oh, yeah, come up. If you, if you are a truly man of God, you love Jesus, click the link. But if you agree with what I am saying, don't click the link. I am refer referring to Nam uh, C. Azubike. I believe this guy is a Donald Azubike. But let us assume that it's not Donald Azubike. Now, Nam Azubike, if you if you believe that the devil is your father, don't click the link. But if you believe that Jesus is your father, click the link. Kaima Lunkoge believe. Kaima my agafia here. I need to hear the blind argument. Now they told you that all angels are white. Is Satan not angel? Is Satan not angel? Why did the Satan become black? Eh? Since all the angels are white, why did the Satan become black? And the Satan is one of the angels in Well Obolo. You see, Nam the Azubike actually believe that everything I say here is correct. That is why he cannot click the link. Nam the Azubike believe that he is his Satan is his father. Nam Dazubike cannot prove with the Bible quotation. That is why he cannot click the link. If we are, I thought Nam Dazubike knows scripture more than me, so that he will cl click the link. Can the whole world go quote all Bible? Can money and go anya? Can he malo anya to asi? The Bible remains the only book you will be using to defend itself. It's like me telling you what now, using my word to defend as a proof. How can you find out truth? Ask your Google, who is the first wife of Adam? You will see it. The first wife of Adam is Lilith. And who created Lilith? Since God created Adam and Eve on the first day, according to them, who, who created the first wife? It's not the son of Dazubike, it's a donor Dazubike. I know the bon fool. He challenged me China two by two spiritually. I know him. Or what wago? All this one, you see, oh channel this platform, baby, get big comment here. He bully he told me. If they are here, comment and young link keep or keep proof one way. Then no born any Christian person were to prove anything to me because the scripture before when you tell them. Now we are ready to follow them with the Bible to prove it to prove to them with the Bible that they are scammers. We are ready to use the same Bible to destroy them. You tell me, say my forefathers are evil, my grandfather is evil, my father is evil. Now Jesus, where I don't know, white man that is racist, announced to me. Imali Fena. 
Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Elo Baba, pray for us. If we have been there, now put on a TV. And we can fool. Oh, my child, my father. If we born, I work and catch your man. Now, chocolate and abati. Any day you know the truth, you know that no power from anywhere can destroy you. The day God say you will die, the day be the life cycle will get complete, you will go. Africa are in bondage because we believe in nonsense. In our watch on your chat. Oh, we feel more soft than our watch. Feel more soft than some local. Or some betche kulo Korea. So some local na no noche. I think I shared that film. Can we enjoy it? Yeah, there's some local. Some local na no noche. So soft than our wanku. Now wanku, when we dislocation of hand. Let me check if I share the video. I think hi that video. I will video. I will be very happy. I thought I shared it. And I want to so on where this location of handy. Come on, I put some look on the anarcho cocoon yaka. Oh, it's the open and nemo. Open and nemo, some look at the polo deal on you. Oh, tiggy them put there, tiggy them put there. For where? End of the day, only one woman, a mother must step more than the yaka. So I just your Sophia. Why, Nina Lolo, that woman, I can. I see that no where this location of hand. Or come on, get on your behind yaka. Or over his dead mother. So let his dead mother come and help him. You need to call your father. Call the person that is close to you. I tell on this video. Man, I can again with this our brother anti first. Good enough. I should do a Christianity carry. Well, this brother the one for you. Kevin, you can do. Can you I have. I have seen a lot. I have seen a lot. One day now, mother, if you ever go on Kita, a lot of people are waking up here. Get no our brother anti first. you believe that uh, Elisa, she, she na earth, she will na, na heaven, alive, without a one hour, or just a bar or one source, I will get in the land of one hour. Or depending or ordinary, it's different from women. Women are simply means uh, moke in wine instead of man in wine. Simple.
we should understand the difference between. He get believe that na Jesus wo on the third day only go tell na we ni gwen. He believe on Elisha wo. What I mean Elisha didn't do eje we ni gwen. Oluzi eje obolo sociable onye didn't do na landing wo lang. The same name I say. The same name I say. It's him, that check here. Any criminal person you see today, he said that he's a pastor or a Christian. All the four one nine, he opened a funeral book, Christian. He should get check here. Hand turning on the yahoo hiding under Christianity to be committing evil. On this note, can get up on here. I could go three hours, but uh, tomorrow we'll face on ECOWAS and the bad leadership. Because I am not focused on with this thing, but we'll be hitting them hard. Any day we'll hit them, we hit them hard. Who's your match in a kekaina basa? I'm okay for Kangalo, Kessin Abunam, the Azik Azubike, Mano Donald Azubike, Nakili Kia the link. Coco to the Bible quotation. Uje kwe here, because I'm an anga niani. On this note, can't see my line in them until I come your way again. No retreat, no surrender. Namala in my. I can any person deceive Wogi. And well, Chine can never be an archie boogie or you open doggy. But your life cycle incomplete in Ali. Simple as that.